my basement, and Gator is in his man's ca man cave with the uh, guitars in the background. Hi, uh, Scott. Hi, everybody. And we got we got Kang over here. Is a mustache. Yes. The head. The head. Lack thereof. Why don't you just show the trophy right now? Oh, you... this thing? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I didn't know this was in the shot. Is it? I'm sorry. Too big to move. I can't move it. And our web over it. here is uh, man's cave, man cave with the sweets. We got a lot in the background going on. Quite a bit. A little baseball. Got some football. Bases. What you need? What's the what? What bases do you got? What is that? Second base or first base from when the Tigers clinched in '14? I want to say clinched the division. Wait. Then I have one of Scherzer's second base from when he got his 20th win with the Tigers. Wow. Yeah. That's impressive. Sure. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Look at you. So, Elizabeth, we've got all sorts of beverages. I want a classic red solo cup. Gator, you, you've touted something special. So. I, hope, I hope I didn't build it up too much. Right. But, um,. You know, just in case I had to shoot the boot, I have a boot. Nice. Aw, <laughs> uh, that doesn't count. Well, no, of course, I'll do it on the shoe if they if the uh, Redskins draft two, but that's not going to happen. So well, well, that's the thing. He guaranteed on the air that he would pick your own. Boy! Oh, Bertie! How we doing? Bertie, kid. Kid. No, Thank we're you. living. If they were happy with two or Herbert, they wouldn't have been so desperate to move up to one. Maybe it was all BS, but yeah. um, that's my concern about Miami. And I think the Chargers, I think the chart for me it's the Chargers, because I think that team needs an injection of life. They're not, Tyrod Taylor's not moving the needle in Los Angeles. And while I wouldn't make a decision for that reason, I mean, that's an organization that moved to LA for money. They're second fiddle in their own town. And they could get Tua. If they get Tua, that's a selling point for a team that has zero pulse in a bad football town. Which is kind of the same with Tua in Miami, though, when you think about it. I mean, a lot of what you said about the Chargers applies to the Dolphins as well. Um, the sure. Dolphins don't have much of a pulse. I mean, yeah, Flores is exciting, but they, they don't have much of a pulse. And not many sports teams in general have much of a pulse in Miami to start with. I mean, it's not a great sports town. But that's a player in Tua who seems like that city would probably latch on to. Well, and, but the thing that's got everybody excited in Miami is that they do have three first-round picks, and you can turn around a franchise real quick, whether they have to trade up to, to start that buzz or, or not. I mean, three first-round picks gets everybody all excited. That gets me in a lot of just thinking about it. Woo! <laughs> so, at this point, if you had to... Bet right now. Are the Lions picking at three or are the Lions trade? I say they're trading. I think the same. I'm, I'm still holding true with the traders. It, it just seems to be too many teams that are interested. It's just too easy to accept the pick, whether it's you know the Chargers just say, hey, we'll switch picks and we'll give you our, our, our third round pick. If that's the best that's out there, take it. Because yeah. you're still going to get the same guy at six that you get at three. I, I, I'm with Gator too. I, I think if, if any offer is out there and there's bound to be one, right, the Lions will take it. And then, yeah, whether it's Brown or Okuda, they'll both be there at six. I mean, there's no chance either of those guys goes for six. It's not Detroit. So, yeah, I, I think a trade does happen, uh, but maybe not for a uh, first rounder, folks. <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> I said maybe not for a first rounder. <laughs> All right, so Kang, you're muted, but if you can take, uh, do you think they're going to make a trade, Kang? The Lions? Yeah, if you had the bet right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. I said earlier on the show today, I think it's gonna, they're going to get a, a decent hog. People will be surprised, I think, because now that basically Burrow and Young are, are locked in, the next chip that, that you, you know you can move up to get is the Lions. If, if Quinn played his cards right, and he talked to a lot of teams today, it's basically take the best offer at this point. I think they'll get a decent offer. So you, you guys think that he has an offer on the table right now in any capacity? Yes. He does, and he's waiting. He's trying to squeeze as much juice out of this as he possibly can. 
and uh, you'll see a trade come up with my glass. Yeah, I agree with Hang. I think he's got he's got something already concrete that he can deal with. I don't think he's got it. I don't think he's accepted it. Yeah. I think it's on the table though. I think he's got at least yeah. one on, he's on the table. Is there is there risk in that though? If if a team that's offering them that deal just says, all right, we'll offer the Giants instead. The Giants accept the offer at four, and then the Lions are left hanging in the wind. Like, is there a risk in waiting on the trade to improve if it doesn't improve? Absolutely, there's a risk. I mean, it's like uh, it's like watching Shark Tank. You know, if you don't take the offer to try it out there, you try playing the others against each other. Right. There's a risk involved, and and that's a legitimate concern. But I mean, you know, these things can happen quickly. It, it, look, it, Bob Quinn's got everybody, all the other GMs on speed dial. It doesn't take long to say, "Hang on, put them on hold." Boom, press a button. All right, best and last offer right now, and yeah. then go back and, and make a, a decision within a minute. I'll, I'll tell you this: if they can make just about any trade, I'll be happy because everybody they can get at three, they can get at five, and they can get most of them at six. And this is a team that needs all the draft picks they can get in this particular draft, with the depth of guard, the depth of defense and tackle, the depth of wide receiver, all positions that they need to get. And any draft picks they get, I'm in favor of. It's amazing how much this this narrative has changed in a month from. We gotta get a first. Let at least get yes, a second. Dude, dude. Give me. We're basically, basically trading Thomas. Whatever I can get. Give me your 124 seven rounder. The narrative and the expectation has changed so quickly, and uh, and I would say less. We are at the point where it's like, like give me your seven, we'll take Okuda, or we'll take Brown. Like you know, we're just talking about from Facebook that we have. Yeah, what do you got? Yeah, far away. Right. Um, we have a request for a draft day uncensored, Mr. Gator. Uncensored. Draft <laughs> day. Uncensored. Uncensored. <laughs> Hell yes. Uncensored. Uncensored. All right. These comments are coming in fast, so I'm doing my best here. Wait, Gator, right, well, is it censored or uncensored? Uncensored. Oh, okay, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> Craft day. All right, we got um, ba, 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 ba. Tyler Webb says someone zoomed in on Quinn's laptop and there was a Clemson end zone. Did you guys see that in the photo of the Lions and tweeted out, which you can also see on 971theticket.com? There's a bunch of computers. Will actually uh, pointed it out to me. There's one laptop that can hardly be seen, and you can see a Clemson end zone. Is that the, the, the link that first look at Bob Quinn's laptop? Yeah. Correct. And in the top left of that tweet, you'll see a computer screen kind of hidden there. Now, Kevin, could that have been a picture from the Ohio State game in the playoff? In which case, don't they paint each end zone one of the team's colors? They absolutely do. So, so maybe he's looking at the Ohio State tape also. <laughs> absolutely. Oh. And now, um, Thomas Biondo says, I think they're just waiting to make sure Washington doesn't leave Chase Young on the board, and that's why they have not announced the trade. They won't announce a trade until they're on the clock. It doesn't make any sense to announce a trade ahead of time. Um, you know, I, I mean, what could happen? <laughs> Ten minutes on the clock. Sorry, Doug, were you talking? Dang, you might have to mute it. It's <laughs> muted. Oh. <laughs> uh, yeah, Doug, we couldn't hear a word you say. <laughs> I couldn't hear a word I said. Uh, yeah, I think that's true. Because if Chase Young's on the board, you take him, right? Any trade you make. Remember when uh, Ricky Williams got traded for the whole draft? <laughs> so that was with Washington. And Washington... Uh, New Orleans said, we're only going to make this trade if Ricky Williams is on the board at five. And the question was, I think it was the Colts at four, and the Colts took Edrick James. And because of that, that the, so the trade was gone. It could be the same thing here. By the way, for people not watching, Cincinnati's on the clock, seven and a half minutes to go. Not that there's a lot of drama here. This, yep. is, this is just filling time. <laughs> because by all accounts, they've told Joe Burrow he's the pick. You know, yeah, and it's... It's, an interesting tidbit about that uh, Ricky Williams trade is that I believe with one of those picks that Washington got in return, 
John Jansen was selected. Oh. So there's that. Good thing he had Clinton Portis there to support him. Um, Gator, a lot of people want to know if you will end this stream with a solo guitar performance. <laughs> uh, no, because it's uh, I don't have an amplifier in this room. But uh, I'm sure, we could get an acoustic Gator, right? It's really not that good. So, uh, no, but uh, but uh, I appreciate the. Uh, the now, now let's ask the question. Uh, that same question when the boot is empty. Okay. <laughs> now we're talking. Yeah. Get some work to do on the food. Are the Bengals going to run this thing down to like 10 seconds? So classic. Probably. Love it. <laughs> Yo, is it just me, boys, or is Kurt Curb Street coloring his eyes? Who figured him out? Is he coloring his what? His eyebrows, Sorry. man. Those things are bushy. Hey, what now? Are you watching on ABC? I think I'm on ABC, yeah. <laughs> I'm on the NFL Network, and Joe Burrow sitting there with his mom and dad. But that's it. Burrow couldn't look more bored right now, by the way. Bored out of his mind. Uh, there we go. Set up. Nice setup. Set up. Set up. Oh, <laughs> of course, Doug has the Big Ten Network, man. Right. <laughs> Wait, what basketball game are you watching right now? Well, let's take a look and see what we're doing. <laughs> You mean what softball games you watching? Oh, it's Michigan and Wisconsin. I got oh, Wisconsin. Wisconsin come back and win that? I'll, I'll tell you what. I'll give you guys one. <laughs> All right, let me ask you this, guys. Will, Doug, Gator, what would you rather have? Miami's fifth and the 26th or the, or the uh, Jaguars' uh, ninth and 20th? I'd rather have nine and 20. I think I think it's the most interesting thing to come out of these trades is if if the Lions take a, a Jaguars offer, the pick at nine is really interesting. Pick at five and six is kind of you know okay. I'm curious to see if they're going to go with Simmons or Akuda, but or Derek Brown for that matter. But at nine, you don't know who's going to be there. Well, I'll take either. Let's start with that. Both are great scenarios. I think I'd rather have five and twenty-six. Um, because I'd rather get Akuda or Simmons or the Brown. I think Akuda and Simmons are both. Uh, and I want I want Kenneth Murray. Um, and I hope that you can get him at twenty six. Wishful thinking, but yeah, I I agree, Crash. I think the uh, the drop off from from twenty six to twenty. Um, is, is pretty negligible compared to, to 9 to 5. I, I think you're probably out of the first tier of players around, what, 6 or 7. Um, I don't I don't think you'd experience as big of a drop-off going from 20 to 26. They need oh, someone next that's year to move name. the needle right away. If they're going to get him in the top 5, maybe not in the top 10. The crazy thing is going to happen in this draft is there's so many wide receivers. I mean, most people have at least six receivers mocked in the first round. And then you've got like four offensive tackles that are mocked in the first round too. The the tackles are going to start. They're going to be a run on tackles before there's a run on receivers. We'll see how many of them go in the first ten picks. You know you're going to see a couple quarterbacks go. You may see three quarterbacks go. You know Chase Young is gone. So there we really don't know who's going to be there. If if the Lions do make a trade with Jackson, we'll make it the ninth pick. No, so at this point, there's no real buzz about the Lions. Nothing new to report, um, other than the great stuff that you can see in the end zone on Bob, uh, Bob Quinn's screen, which is, is that an original, Birch? Yeah. Uh, well, no, I was just scanning that picture earlier and it popped up, but uh, I'm sure it's been noticed by others. Yeah, I heard Wojo mention it on his show earlier, too. Well, well you, you know it came from him, it's not original, man. Yeah, it's definitely. that from someone else, no doubt. Rumor says that if you like Google Chase Young and Clemson on Bing, that that comes up that little area. But who no. uses Bing other than Doug? Probably. <laughs> <laughs> ask Jeeves. Yeah, Bing is Bing is on an accident, right? Yeah, that was some sort of cookie or something that started directing me to Bing. You've been hacked. Cookie. Doug's bringing Bing back, man. 
No, Doug's not happy with me. Bing is a great search engine for porn. Uh, uh, so my little dude says that Joe Burrow is from Pringles hack, so it looks like uh, looks like that's going to be the pick. Uh, we got a tweet here. Kang looks like the dude from Bloodsport tonight. He's got a great lot movie. of it. Great movie. Great movie. John Lee? No, Van Damme, right? Frank Dukes. <laughs> that's what he meant. Frankie Dukes, yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, they like right. put up their Dukes. Right. Or his buddy, you know, Ogre from uh, from Revenge of the Nerds. Oh, Ray Jack- Jackson? You look like a Jackson. Yeah. Man, it's a, it's a great look. I uh, here's the real- I think I got a haircut. I gotta ask you, though, man. It's not about what you think. What does your wife think of the, the mustache? <laughs> well, she can't- oh, the mustache? She don't- at this point, she doesn't care. I mean- the hair, everything, it's, this is quarantine season, man. Yeah. I'm, I'm just, I'm upset that uh, you shaved your head. Here's the pick. Oh, wow. My mark's right. Stunner at number one. <laughs> Simply out of left field. Joe's got his beats on listening to a Lucy Keys or no, he's probably doing a video call. He's definitely doing a video call. Well, why does he need headphones? Like, come on, guy. You don't want your parents to hear you it? He probably got paid money to wear those. He makes oh, them. good call. What's up with that chair cover that guy? <laughs> <laughs> How ready is that cover, thing? Right? You know, it's funny. No one mentioned in the scatter report Joe Burrow's chair cover. It's the one thing you all overlooked this whole time. Great <laughs> arm, accurate, well-built, but questionable chair covers in his parents' house. I have a feeling that that uh, the the, ch- the burrow slip covered chair is going to be the next Twitter handle for somebody or the next fantasy football team for somebody. It's like Dr. Burks's scarf. <laughs> Do you guys want to see the best setup of an NFL coach for their virtual draft tonight? Yes. Do I? Go look at Cliff Kingsbury from the Arizona Cardinals official Twitter account and look what this guy has set up. Like, yes, yeah, uh, I bet you did Holly design that place? Did she pick out that place before they broke up? Who knows? But how incredible! Yeah, he's living, man. Oh my god, <laughs> wait, where am I looking this up on? Arizona Cardinals Twitter under the War Room 2.0. Wow, that's a little nicer than my setup. Yo, meanwhile, like Andy Reid's in his basement crushing wings and beer, no oh. doubt about it. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's not bad. Yeah. Oh, man. That's not bad. That is smooth, though. Is he wearing dress shoes with no socks? Absolutely. Wow. Those are just casual dress shoes, though. Those are just like little house knock around. Right. All right. <laughs> he's only got, he's got a TV screen. He's only got three computer monitors in front of him. And three phones, too. Three phones. Two bottles of water. Yeah. I you know one of them has vodka in it, probably. Wow. Oh, he's got the fire on outside, too. That is not social distancing from uh, the LSU team right there. I'm just saying. Ed Orgeron and, and, and the rest of the guys were not social. Yeah, maybe forfeit the title. <laughs> Dude, that chair is so bad. They should have taken it off. Hey, this is what you see the transformation. Like, next week, after he gets his signing bonus, yeah. he's going to experience something nice. Yeah. Lazy yeah. Evan, Evan, have you caught wind of the uh, Goodell rumors on Twitter yet? What? So people say that he's not really in his basement, but like they just built a set to look like a basement so he seemed more relatable to the general public. Dude, that's the first I thing I thought. It. I was like, why is he in a 1980s basement? <laughs> yeah. I believe it. They built him like what's supposed to be the average man set, but it's not the average man basement, but it's not at all. No. It no, he's on like some old eighties TV so TV show set or something like that. There's no way he lives in a house with wood paneling and noise. There's no way. Yeah. So that's he they tweeted out his yeah, right. Shh. Oh, Stony in the house. Everything goes crazy. Oh, this thing is gonna get like knocked off. Stony's gonna oh, knock us off somehow. There he is. Whoa! Stony! What up, boys? All right. 
Uh, every Zoom meeting that we've done. Oh, I got a good piece of volume up here. Oh, Lord. All right. There you go. Here we go. It's Tony. Every Zoom meeting. just weird whenever i like i gotta like turn the volume down and for some reason the screen goes away when i turn the volume down there we go all right tiger king who had that for a thousand <laughs> oh susie got a little messed up hair is out of control oh going with like the messy look that's uh that's a messy look okay Hey, how's, how's uh, Joe Burrows here? He was concerned about it. It was long. It wasn't too bad. I mean, I can't handle it. Flat brim hat, no good. One of my, uh, really, one of my daughters thinks Joe Burrows hot. Oh, good, Sony. That's a good. That's a good take. Well, yeah, not, I know. Like, not if we had known that, but at a, at a time. Go ahead, go ahead. Yeah. Tell him. <laughs> I think I think Joe's a pretty good looking cat. Oh, I didn't know you were going to put that hat on. Yes, they gave him the hat for him. Tony, are you hosting your own show over there? What'd you say? Are you hosting your own show? <laughs> yeah, my family, they care about the dress. What can I tell you? Are you guys all crammed in one room? <laughs> What'd you say, Ed? Where are you, where are you at, Tony? I'm in my uh, my office. So I do my show prep and I got... Uh, I've got a lot of chatter there, Stoney. I'm just saying, a lot of chatter. Hi, guys. Hey. Hey. Hey, it's Mrs. Stoney. <laughs> it's the Mrs. Stone man. Too much chatter. Oh, Doug, I don't think that's tangled. Okay, shut up. Tony has one TV and it's in his office. Look at Chase Young's family. Could they no, be? I, I got TV downstairs, but this is where. Oh, who's the guy in memoriam? Wait, what, 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 yeah, that hat's a tough look on Burrow, huh? I'm watching Chase Young. Yeah. He's on the phone. Oh, Chase Young. Yeah. Oh, Chase Young. Chase Young. Yeah. Oh, Chase Young. Yeah. Oh, Chase Young. It's like an homage of J.R. Ewing. <laughs> Good call, Gator. What do you say? You wouldn't understand J.R. Ewing. You wouldn't understand. <laughs> Right, is this audio better? That is better. Yes. Yeah, so yes. Which one is Chase Young? Is that standing? Chase Young's in the middle of the Well, I don't know. Look at the guy standing. What is that, a agent? I mean, I don't know. Chase Young looks like the woman who's in the middle of the of the couch. Exactly. But it's not a woman. I don't know that. Give me my Give me that. That's an odd um, thing to have in Ron Rivera's living room, just a giant picture of the Redskin logo. It's a brain. <laughs> like, you know, know, there's a pick. A little controversial. Yeah. The chase has to be nice. All right, now the draft starts. Here we go. Haters uh, off the hook. I am sorry. All right, Sony. Right. Sony, we were taking uh, we were taking predictions earlier. Do you think the Lions make a trade here or not? What'd you say? Do you think the Lions make a trade here or not? Yes. Second round pick. Third round pick. Second round pick. Fifteen. Miami. Miami. Yeah. Or Jackson. What do you got? Yeah. Who's the trade partner, Stoney? 
Kang has a baby. Yeah, get her, get her. Just go, just go screw yourself. Tony, who's going to be the trade partner for the Lions? The, uh, <laughs> the Dolphins. The Dolphins, okay. Actually, Tony's got me draft. He has a Lions making trade. What did you say, Willie? I said in Stoney's mock draft, he had the Lions making two trades. That's right. Yeah, that thing was lit. So did I. Can I, I see the baby? Can, can, my, Marissa wants to see the baby. Is the baby uh, She just left. She's going to get me uh, a, a beverage. Uh, She's got to get ready for the pass. I have a baby, man. I got to get one of those. Got I know, Will, you got, Will, I think you'd be a great... Great mentor. Yeah, I think I'd be a really good mentor too. I I'd have my kid call me the kid. <laughs> if you want the news, on the Lions pick, you want news or no? Yeah. Um, Adam Schefter is reporting that unless something changes soon, the Lions are going to hold on to this pick. Well, they oh, got. No. Well, listen, here's what's interesting. They they're left, used all three minutes yeah. and 20 seconds left there. There's, you don't have to rush to, to make that pick. Swing a deal. Well, all right, so we played this all wrong. I, I will say this. You realize I'm well, leaving. that everybody's going to react if the pick is Tua. <laughs> if the pick is Tua. Then I'm back. The Lions have the balls yeah, to make the Tua pick and, and hold it for ransom against everybody else? I mean, everybody's talked about that, right? We've taken that call every day. Yeah. Every single day for the last month. And, and you know what I do? Mentioned? And yeah. I draft Tua. I know you draft two of them. No, no, but I mean, I, I, seriously, for the sake of trading it, I honestly think that's the play right now. Of course, I want to it anyway, but I think that's the play. Wait, you think you think they're going to draft two? No, I, I say that should be the play though, because I, other teams want them. They just know the lion. They're calling the Lions bluff, like the Lions wouldn't dare draft them. Dude, right now, the Giants, the Giants are the Giants like, come to me, come to me. Let it, let the Lions no. pick. You can't tell me they couldn't even get a quick? fifth round pick to move down two or three. It's ridiculous. No. Oh. Well, any the yeah. guy is watching Quinn right now. He looks like he messed up. Where, 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 where you got him? Yeah, what are you watching, Kay? Uh, if you go to uh, the Lions. So the pick is in. Yeah. Oh, you mean the Lions on their their stream? Hey boys, I got a bounce. It's a pleasure, absolute pleasure to be here. Get it, Will. Great to see you, really. Yeah, right, boys. Stay safe, stay healthy. All right, brother. All right, buddy. We'll talk to you soon. All right, it's time to go. Much love. The virtue kid. The Lions pick is in. All, All right, right, so I'm not watching Twitter. All I'm watching is the TV. So if anybody knows what happens ahead of time, do not say anything. All right. Let's just react together as we see it on the TV screen. Hmm. All right, so. Uh, I think the pick's a coda. I'm going to stick with Brown that I said in the mock. If they're staying at three, I think it's a coda. Okay. I already saw what it is. Really? I mean, I said that it's going to be, if they stay at three or trade back, I think they're going to coda no matter what. So that was my uh, prediction, at least. Pick is in. Pick is in. They're gonna go to commercial. Okay. Always with the Lions picks. Man. Always. They they always go to commercial with the Lions picks. Come on, don't go to commercial. Let's go make the pick. Come on. Oh, they're not going to commercial. Oh, here we go. It's a chance, yeah. All right. We got we got the split screen of Patricia and Quinn. Oh, great! I do. Yeah. Oh, they got it. They got it. The, the pencil is here. Couldn't they get the kid out? Yeah. Sorry. I'm going to like it. Uh, yeah, no kidding. All right. Yeah, I wanted to. Uh, I, was, I mean, predictable. This is. It's a disappointment, right? It's a, it's a It's not a disappointment in the player. It's a no, no, it's not. It's nothing against the player. It's, 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 what, it's the play. It's it's like we we said we said called it two months ago. We said if they don't, we, we set ourselves up two months ago. Right. Yeah. They didn't trade out of this yeah. pick. That it was going to be. I'm not okay with the player. Player. I'm not okay with They don't make they the play. They stuck to it. It's a major letdown. The player's great. Right. He's going to be a great player in this league. It's just that. 
It's a letdown that they could not work a trade out. If they had conversations with teams about the pick, how do they not make a trade unless Bob Quinn was the one to pick up the phone and call Miami or call the Chargers or call the Jags? If Bob's the one making a call, then they weren't going to get it done. But if the other teams call, how do they not get it done? Well, the, only, the, only, the, only, the only thing is, if like Miami and the Chargers said, we know you're not taking a quarterback, we'll take our chances. And Jacksonville, let's say, was the only one, the Lions didn't want to take a chance on a coup to fall into nine, then I understand it. But you can't tell me that they couldn't even say, look, Dolphins, just give me a fifth round pick and, you know, make something. But would you rather, why, I guess, would you rather stay at three and take a really good player to CUDA, or would you have traded with Jacksonville for nine and 20? They called the Lions bluff. They called the Lions bluff. Yeah, everybody called the Lions, Lions bluff. bluff. A rap of words tweeting that the Lions stuck to number three at their top defensive player on the board, and they said no trade with Miami, even though that they had been receiving offers for days. I'm telling you, they could have got a deal, but they, they chose not to because they wanted more, which I don't blame them for, but everyone called their bluff, and they didn't take Tua. They should have just took Tua. So wait a minute. Well, well, if, if what Evan said is right, they didn't. They just turned down the trade. Yeah, Evan Rappaport saying they had all bit, some, He's saying that they shrugged off offers. So who knows what that right. means? But let me tell you this. The Lions were quick to tweet out their graphic with Jeff Okuda and their colors and everything. So they knew what they were doing. Yeah. Well, if they were, if the offer was to Miami, goals, right? maybe it goes back to the whole Miami thing saying that they weren't going to offer the fifth pick. And if the Miami was going to offer 18 and 26, and the Lions are like, well, oh, you know, we're, we'd rather stay at, at three than give up and get 18 to 26. You can argue which is the better move, but it is disappointing. And this is the reason why Michigan can't beat Ohio State. Look at, look, look at the three guys. One, two, yeah. three, all recruited by Urban Meyer. Yeah, well, if nothing else, Urban Meyer's not there anymore. I know. So, but, uh, the soccer guy got off to a pretty good start in year one. So, um, well, it's better. It's, it'll be received better than PJ Hawkinson. I got to tell you, I'm not sure how much. <laughs> I was just gonna say. I'm a, I've been I've been taking abuse for two years here on the on these draft picks, and I, I like them both. I like both picks, but like, wow. this one's this one's only disappointing in that they couldn't swing a deal. Right. I mean, I'm right, that's right, the only, I, I agree with you. If they weren't going to draft Tua, which we knew they weren't, he was just as good as anybody else. It's just where they got him. It seems lame. Well, was it no Kuyper, uh, one of those no best available. Jeff Okuda was the third best player available in the draft. Right. According so, to them, yes. I mean, look, Mel's not the not everything here, but I I trust his evaluations to a point, and I, I do agree that Okuda is a hell of a player. He's probably one of the top five players in the draft, and they were drafting at three. So who are the other two? Simmons and Derek Brown. So um, I'm not I'm not pissed. I'm just a little disappointed they couldn't. Right. Just, you know, if they had offers and couldn't get out of there, God, you want to know what that offer is? I do. I really. That they must have been more offers. offers. They, they, I mean, I it, it depends if it's Miami or the Chargers. Unless they thought the Giants, they the right. they the Giants were going to take Akuda. Right, but they're exactly but right. If the Chargers offer you their pick at six and a seventh round pick, yes. you take the trade. Yeah, I agree. That's why I don't think they did it. I don't think Miami offered five. I don't think Chargers offered six. Otherwise, why wouldn't you make the trade? Right. I'm not sure you do it for a seventh round pick. <laughs> but the whole difference does it make? You're still going to get the guy at six. Well, you, you hope, but you don't know. Um, now I'm gonna piss it if the because you see the clock is working down they're down to just over three minutes with the Giants. The Giants are working the phones. They're trying to desperately to make a trick and get out and make a, a trade and get out of the spot. Right, see because they, they know that any of the four allegedly uh, offensive tackles are that's where where they want now. They're not. The Giants aren't trading out of that spot. They're not. Well, to they are if it will if if the Chargers are like, hey, we didn't have to give up as much with the Giants that we were gonna have to go for the Lions. We call the Lions bluff. Let's let's work for the Giants. Well, I I'll be shocked if the Giants trade out of this pick. Now, if Miami and both Miami Chargers pass on the quarterbacks, then maybe the Lions didn't do the wrong thing. Yeah, what are people saying on Facebook? 
What? Evan, what are people saying on Facebook or on the uh, ticket text or whatever we got going? They're telling Stoney to pass the bottle. Um, they're wishing that the Lions got Simmons if they were stuck at three. Yep. Um, if the Giants make a trade, is there egg on the Lions' face? Top ten next year for us. How do you guys defend this at all, Detroit? Lions will always be purgatory. Gator, you're crazy. Don't trade three in a seventh round for a third. Trevor Lawrence next year looks like a fail. So they're very positive comments that are coming in right now. Yeah, not quite, huh? No, people are sick to their stomach. This sucks. We hate the Lions. Lions fail. Yeah. The Giants are under two minutes. They're still trying to make a trade. They do not want to stay at four. No. I got to tell you. Wow. Well, maybe trade. could the Giants have screwed the Lions by saying they weren't going to take a QB or anything like that, so come here. Absolutely. But if the Giants aren't able to make a trade, then Miami's laughing their asses off right now because they didn't have to make any trade. They stay at five. And now the, the intrigue is going to be, does Miami take Tua or do they take uh, Herbert? Or do they do this – Offensive tackle crap that we've been hearing about. Right. The pick is it. Just before we get to the pick, I just Googled 2021 mock draft. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and now I'm going to be your favorites. Trevor Lawrence, number one to Jacksonville. We got Aiden Hutchinson going. Uh, <laughs> Detroit gets Justin Fields at three. Not bad. I'll take it. Oh, uh, we can't have another Georgia quarterback. Uh, Although he's at Ohio State. <laughs> it took all of Akuda's been a lion for less than ten minutes, and I'm looking up mock drafts for next year. I'm surprised by that. I thought you would have waited until after the Facebook Live portion for you to go there, but you uh, did. God bless well. you. Uh, if, if people want to be positive about Jeff Okuda, it seems like he's a Freaking great kid, though. If you if anybody gets a moment and goes to read the letter that he wrote to his mother when he declared, oh. it's unbelievable. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I, I think look, it's... That, that whole great kid stuff and hard work, I like it, but that was also Jared Davis was the next Chris Spielman in terms of his work ethic and dedication to the game. And, I mean, you still got to be able to play. Now, I think this kid can play. I honest, I mean, they literally yeah. just drafted a day one starter, right? He's going to start from day one. He better. He better. Yeah, I mean, there's. I don't see any chance that he doesn't start from day one. And it's, it's it's more disappointment, I think, in not trading back, Doug, than yeah, the actual no, player I mean, himself. And this is. It's so hard to believe that they didn't get a trade offer, um, but maybe they did. Did you see how high this? Look, when they go back to the show, Joe Judge, the, the the coach of the Giants, the room he was in, the yeah. ceilings in that room were like 20 feet high. Were they? Yeah. Did, did, did you see, I saw Arizona tweet out where Kingsbury is. Yeah. Yeah, we were talking about that. Total baller. Picks in. I got to tell you, this, this boot is tricky. When you oh, turn, you get that bubble in there, man. Yeah, you get to that. That's the tough one. When you when you get down to the shoe, because you get that like tidal wave of beer coming out. Yeah, exactly. And I poured two beers in there, so. Yeah. Here we go. Giants pick. Wow. I would not have guessed he would be the first tackle to go. Wow. Yeah, but they also took Daniel Jones over Haskins last year. True. That they carry on. I have to uh, go get a refill. Jesse, yeah, Georgia. Uh, I got to tell you, this is uh, – I mean, now what's Miami going to do here, King? Because – Well, if if they wanted to, uh, they played this thing perfectly, didn't they? If, if they do, or they Harvard. actually played it perfectly. Or if they want – I mean – Nobody thought Andrew Thomas was going to be the first tackle taken in the draft. Well, the rumor was that Miami was going to trade the Lions to get Andrew Thomas. That was one of the rumors. Was it Thomas or was it Werfs? Yeah, or... it was Thomas. That was... No. Then my bad. I, I, I thought Werfs and Willis, Werfs and Wills, I thought were the top two. But... Um, interesting. So, 
I'm surprised Miami's just not running up like laughing with this pick because clearly they played this brilliantly by waiting for everybody else uh, to just trip over themselves. Although it's not, it's look, Okuda's not bad. Okuda's a good player, but I feel like the Lions really missed an opportunity to get. Do you something. think there's any way that they trade back into the first round? The yes. Lions? Yeah. Yeah, I do. Yeah. No, no, no. I don't think they will, but I think there is absolutely a possibility they could. Somebody brought it up on a show today. I thought it was a brilliant uh, observation. With the win now approach that clearly the uh, management is under, that why wouldn't the Lions offer next year's first round pick as a way to get back into this year's first round? Because they're trying to add talent, so that could well, absolutely. They don't have the authority to do so. They may or may not, but I mean, if you're trying to win now, that's how you do it, right? Do you notice Thomas has yeah. nicer chairs in this house? Yep. <laughs> well, either listen, either the, the Dolphins might have been scared off by Tua's injury. That's why they were trying to work so hard to go to I, one for Burrow. Are you watching them try to put this no. mask on? Why is Delvin? Look at look at the ceilings in this in, in Judge's uh, office thing. They're huge. Why was he wearing a mask by himself? Why was Delvin wearing a mask? You're in your house by yourself. Why wear a mask? He's on the epicenter. <laughs> what, does he have the windows open? He couldn't figure out how to put it on either. Is there a hobo coming by the okay. stoop that's ready to use the stoop okay. as a urinal or something? What is he doing? Florida. Florida. You think Florida? he's in Florida? Florida. Oh, God. By the way, did you see how much that dinner with Tom Brady's up to? No, how much? Seven hundred and seventy-five thousand dollars. Oh my Pretty god! Mercy. There's five days left to bid on it. My budget is. I'm. I'm. It's getting close. I might not win. <laughs> yeah, I was out after seventy-five dollars. <laughs> but to be fair, I had a gift card. So. I right, wait. Okay, four minutes to go. Are they going to take Tua? I think they take Herbert. I think, I think they take a. Right? I think they take a tackle. I, I don't think they're. I do not think who is going here. You know what? This is this is classic players sliding if they don't take him, right? No, no because I think no. the the reason. What I was saying is the reason they're trying to get the one so bad is they don't trust the two quarterbacks behind Burrow. So now they're going to go with the tackle. His brother looks pissed. Yeah, they all look pissed. They do. Yeah. Where are they at? Roger Goodell's basement. That's a lot of wood there, man. Yeah. Nobody, wants, nobody wants the king chair with the ottoman? What's that about? <laughs> I mean, come on. Hey, he doesn't look like a guy who thinks he's about to get drafted, does he? No. No, he doesn't. Oh, what you doing? These kids are killing productivity right now? On ABC, they got the split screen with Herbert's family on one side and Tua's on the other. They both look pissed. They neither look at look at all the hats. Did you see all the hats on Tua's table? I did yeah, not. Well, he had like he had like thirty hats. Every every guy that's on this stream, they all got a hat from every single team. Yeah. Rumor is that they also got a jersey from every team too. <laughs> I'm amazed we've gone almost an hour here, and my dog has yet to interrupt the broadcast. Pretty sweet. <laughs> Dog's well behaved. <laughs> hey, Lois. Lois. Lois, you want to go outside? Oh, no, no. You want a treat? My bad. <laughs> what was that? What happened, Ev? I said, do you want to go? Oh, you team. My dog reacted to that one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Jordan. Jordan, you, you want to go outside? You want to go outside? She doesn't react to that. Gator. Hey, it's Tony. Yo. You see behind Lewis Riddick the Mattel football game? Yes. Yes. <laughs> and that's when video games were sweet. What did you do on that thing? That screen is like not even a half inch. Dude, I don't even want to know. There's it was a so of, bad. It's a bunch of dashes. Yeah, you literally were a dash. You were a dash, and you you tried to. And then they had the head to head, which was twice as long as that machine, so you could actually play against somebody. You guys so, ever look at the books behind them? You had a Jay Z book. I did see that. 
All right, when you guys said earlier, it was funny earlier, they had, um, it was a college game day, and they had, they were interviewing uh, uh, Ryan Day from Ohio State, and uh, Herb Street was on there, and obviously they were getting excited about Ohio State. So they went to Desmond Howard, and Desmond Howard puts his hands on his uh, Michigan helmet, and he's talking about it. Desmond had a pretty nice setup, though. He's got his Heisman Trophy to one side, Super Bowl MVP to the other. That's pretty good. And then Reese Davis said, I wouldn't be bragging about that with Brian Day sitting there, something to that effect. It hasn't worked lately. Wow, they got Octobox going on. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people want to talk right. about it. Is it Tua? It. Does anyone think it's Tua? I think it's Tua because Goodell's, Goodell's trying not to fuck up the kind of pronunciation like me. Wow. They played the Lions and the Giants. They absolutely played them. Oh. Wow. Now, in hindsight, here you go. Ready for the hindsight? Yeah. Do they have drafted two at three and held them for ransom? That's what everybody's going to be asking about tomorrow. Can't know. Yes, you already know this. Well, we Gus don't know. No. I we say know, yes. I, we can't know. I don't think there's any way we'll ever know. They just took him at five. They didn't take an offensive tackle to think about. Oh, we can take a tackle and take Herbert. But it doesn't there's mean no way they're split on the two. They they love one of the guys. They love two. I I we don't know that they wouldn't have just taken Herbert. I know. <laughs> Yeah, but, okay. but we're comfortable, and me and Gator are comfortable with two, and we had to stick with them. That's why. I think Stoney was in, in, in hindsight, you're exactly right, but you never see the last time that ever happened in the NFL was what, Eli Manning? When a guy gets tra- drafted and then they trade him? Yeah. Am I, am I correct in that there have been no commercial breaks? I think so. I think you're correct. Was there one? My son's telling me after the Lions pick there was a commercial break. it's not. I don't think. Oh, man, the ESPN. I'm not sure. I'm watching ESPN. I don't remember. It. All right. So the Chargers take Herbert. Uh, yes. How far is Simmons gonna fall? Uh, Simmons will be drafted at seven. Carolina. Carolina. Then it'll go Simmons, and then Brown, and then Henderson. I don't think so. I think I Arizona at eight takes a. Take, say, I think they take an offensive lineman. Hmm. If I can do a shameless plug, we have a great scouting report right now on uh, 971theticket.com about Jeffrey Okuda. Yeah. Any of the so, Facebook comments? Does anybody like it, uh, Ev? No, oh, let's get them live. Um, are we are we live? Uh, Simmons is going here. People are saying Bob Quinn is terrible. Yeah, there's no positivity on this at all. Oh, somebody just noticed that Kang's Asian. Well, that's good. Yep. Whoa, I am? <laughs> Gator's white. Can you just figure that out? My Gator's white. black. My, um, Chris is wondering if Miami already got a translator for Tua. <laughs> <laughs> that will never get old, will it? Never. It's, it's always, it's a classic. Wait, now that we have Stoney, since he likes to sing, Gator, with your solo, Stoney could sing to it. I don't think so. I don't think that's happening. I don't know any Bruce songs. Yeah, you only know good music. What did he say? Nothing. He didn't Nothing say anything. Gone. Look at that hat. Where'd you pull that thing from? My archives. Look at that thing. What archives? The restored. The roar restored. Oh. People are wondering if we can trade Bob the Quinn for a real GM. People are saying it got too personal with Slay, and that's why we have Okuda. If they wouldn't have had any problems with Slay, would we have that pick? That might be true. When they traded Darius Slay, this was almost a, a done deal, and yep. it shouldn't it shouldn't have come down to this. Well, if you believe what you read earlier today, Patricia and Quinn were at odds over. I think Patricia wanted Brown, and well, would, uh, would you rather have Okuda or Brown? Personally, I'd rather have Okuda. But if you had Slay there, I'd rather have Brown. Uh, 
you know, I, I was a Derek Brown guy for a long, long time. And then this afternoon, I was uh, after the show, I was on Twitter and I saw something that Spielman had tweeted out. And it, it's, I was surprised that nobody had brought this up. And, and we all shouldn't know this. But I didn't hear anybody bring it up on the show that, that we were doing. But Jeffrey Akuda is a four down, he's a three down guy. He's going to play every, every down. Derek Brown is a guy who's going to play on first and second down. He'll play some third down, but he's a guy who's a rotational guy. At some point, he comes out. Somebody and said that today on that. I think third, that. third pick, you got to get a guy who's going to play every down. Now, so I, I, I put Akuda ahead of Brown after I heard that, but still behind Simmons. I was a Simmons guy. Tua, Simmons, Akuda, Brown. Uh, I, I know it doesn't matter if the Lions win, but historically, the Lions have never won. So uh, Tua better not be great because, seriously, this is going to be – like, they'll never let, live this down. If he's a pro bowler, all pro, he wins. Well, but if the Lions win, nobody cares. If the Lions win, it doesn't matter. I'll, but if he's – Yeah, true. He's well, right. I'll go on history. Yeah. Well, the problem is if the Lions don't win this year, Quinn's going to be gone probably anyway, so he'll never – so the Chargers let this go down to almost two minutes before they submitted the pick. That's interesting. Is it, it, Maybe it's not just as simple as them taking Herbert or or somebody else. Maybe they went with Simmons. I bet they go with Simmons. I'm going Simmons. If they go Simmons, if they go Simmons then who's the next quarterback to go? Because that pushes Herbert back further. Or does Jordan Love come, in, come into play for somebody? In Jacksonville, still sitting there, but what do you think? Who's what's the what's the pick gonna be here? I I got Simmons. I got Simmons. I got Herbert. Oh, did you say Simmons? Yeah. I, I was. I was sorry. I was trying to read. Um, if I can give another shameless plug, we have a great of Jeffrey Okuda from Radio.com. If you'd like to know what that is. Yes. Tell yeah. Go ahead. We got time. Who would you like to guess it is? B plus. The grade of the pick? Yep, Sony said B plus. A, it, it should be an A. Yeah, I'll say A. a yeah, minus. they got an A minus. Fills a major need for the Lions, who dealt uh, Darius Slay, and they considered trading this pick, but they got it right. It's the top cornerback in this year's draft. Despite low interception no, uh, numbers, Okudo is a beast in coverage and has all the attributes, size, speed, you name it. Well, he's going to play from day one. I mean, has a sexy pick ever worked for the Lions, if you think back? Mike Williams, Charles Rogers. Uh, Calvin, Perry, Sue. But, I mean, there's <laughs> – I mean, this guy better be – I mean, what it comes down to is he better be damn, damn, damn good. And that, they've made picks that are unconventional since they've gotten here. I mean, right? There was mixed reviews on Rag now. There is – Definitely a little bit of pushback on the tight end last year. And now this. Here we go. Pick it in. I, I got Simmons. Simmons. I'll go Simmons. I got Herbert. They already got Simmons and Dur Duran James. Nailed it, Kang. Wow. Okay, here's a question for all you guys. Is there any way that Bob Quinn could be here next year without Matt Patricia or vice versa? Or are they a package deal no matter what? I think they're a package deal. I think they're a package deal. where's I can't imagine Quinn getting a chance to hire another coach. Another coach. This kid's living it up right now, Burrow, huh? Or, I mean, Herbert? Why you say that? They showed his house. They were all pumped. Had a big, fat spread of food. Looking like a great night. Yeah. Stay on the West Coast. I don't. I don't think he's going to be much of an NFL quarterback. But wasn't it two years ago people were talking about him being the top pick? Yeah, and he regressed every year. He had a great sophomore year, regressed his junior year, regressed his senior year. All right, so Carolina's got six and a half minutes. Is this where Simmons goes? Simmons goes to Carolina, or is it Derek Brown? It's one of those two. Simmons to replace Keekley. Yeah. Probably. What? Well, they're gonna 
they're going to mug this, I guess. I mean, six, six minutes, ten seconds to go on the clock for them. But um, they, they, they certainly have options at seven. Quarterback, not one of them. See, but you know what's good? You're right. I, I don't know why we never talked about them. We should, why we didn't talk about them more. I don't think Bridgewater necessarily solved everything. He doesn't, but I told they, they also got that other guy. I think that they really like his upside to get from the uh, XFL. I know it was XFL, but everyone raved about him in the XFL. Was it? Who was the guy that Lions signed from the CFL? Do you remember yeah, that? Yeah, I forget who that guy was. Don't I feel wait. like it was Pinner, but it wasn't Pinner or Pinter. Was it, it was a QB? Like, yeah, yeah, remember that quarterback? They didn't sign okay. him, but they were, they were rumored to be in on him. It was like three years ago. I thought they did sign him, and then they cut him right away, right? Was that Perez, right? No. No, it was Pinter or Pinter or something like that. I still can't believe the Lions didn't get a trade offer. Three quarterbacks went in the top six. I know one went ahead of them, but they didn't get they didn't make a trade. Quarterbacks at five and six. Yeah, yeah I mean that. But it tells you no either, either there was no real offer or both Carolina or uh, Miami and um, the Chargers like different quarterbacks. The only defense it doesn't matter though. No, the only defense you can make, and it's a weak one. Is if they thought that the Giants were going to take a CUDA and they wanted a CUDA, whether it was three, five, six, and didn't take it and wouldn't take a chance of them losing number four. That's the only defense they have. Well, but if, if the rumor is true that both uh, um, the, the Quinn and Patricia were, were differing on who to take at three, then it just simply becomes who's available to them if they made a trade a couple picks later. Right, which makes it worse. You can't tell me that Miami or the Chargers, if they really, especially Miami, if they wanted this guy, wouldn't have given up a third round pick for him. I mean, I, hey, look, Terry, I can't tell you that. I can tell you that. But I, mean, I, I want to hear another team. I mean, nobody ever tells what their trade offer was, but I'd really like to know. Because, honest to God, it is unsatisfying to not be able to make a trade. Right. It's unsatisfying. I'll put it to you like that. I like the player. I think he's going to be great, but it's unsatisfying that they could squeeze a little more out of this draft. Here's a little information that's on our website right now from Little Birchfield about the Lions and trades. This is from Jeff Darlington. Despite the Lions' best efforts to generate interest in their pick, I'm told the Dolphins never took the bait. They never tried to move up in that spot. No offer, no negotiations. They were always staying at number five. Well, that's one team, if we believe that. Well, it's easy to talk after the draft picks are made, but, I mean, if that's the truth, they played it perfectly. You know what I mean? And and if they didn't offer the Lions anything, you can't make a trade if you don't get an offer if you're the Lions, right? No, but here's the other thing about that. Is, is Miami going to come out and say, I mean, when you get to a, are you going to come out and say, well, we tried to trade up to get them, but they wouldn't take our offer? When you got them and you didn't have to make the trade, you look stupid for saying you tried to trade, right? Well, they could they could come out and say we would have moved up for them. I that guess, but you look dumb for saying it. I don't be think interested so. To say that we would have says during the conference call, I'm sure that will start to trickle out tonight. Oh, I'm sorry, you said Quinn or Patricia? No, just the Dolphins GM. I'm sure he'll be asked about it whether or not they were willing to trade up, and like you guys said, whether or not. It's truthful, but sometimes you actually get a little bit of truth out right, of it. Right, because if he says the, the Lions off, the Lions are asking too much, then it's really an indictment. Yeah, I mean, well, it depends. It depends what he was asking for. If he was asking for a fifth rounder and they wouldn't part with it, I'd get it. I mean, a fifth rounder is nothing to ask. I mean, Miami's got 14 picks. They got four. Team picks. Asking for a fifth rounder is not asking for too much. Now, it would be asking for both firsts and we wouldn't accept anything else. I mean, I mean that's, that's dumb. Too much. If that's, yeah, I don't know. Look, we'll never know what the Lions were offering or uh, what the Lions were asking for, but if it's true that Miami didn't even throw an offer the Lions' way, 
They, Miami was playing a game of chicken and they won. Well, Miami could have played this perfectly and said, hey, we don't think the Lions are going to take Tua. We're going to fake go for a tackle, make the Giants take a tackle, and we want a Tua the whole time, and we don't have to give anything up. It could have been. I mean, it was it was a Miami beat reporter that wrote that Miami was looking to move up to three to take a tackle. So that would be – he would be the guy that gets fed the – the propaganda to put it out there, right? Yeah. I mean, I, I will say at one point, I can tell you in my career, I was fed propaganda by somebody probably 15 years ago now, but I was fed propaganda by somebody. I went with it, and it was exactly that, propaganda. So you got to be careful with who you believe. Caroline's picks in here. Got to admit, it's gone very smooth for ESPN, huh? It's gone Simmons. really smoothly. You know what? Simmons, you know what? We all think Simmons. I go, I go Simmons here. But you know what? We haven't seen much of. Mel. That's right. Mel had a Mel. So oh, maybe Mel's feed is down. They they go to Mel every once in a while when they go Octolock. Here we go. I love how Goodell wants everybody to rip on him. That is good. It's not David Stern. He's alive. Wow. Tony, oh, what's the matter with you? Tony, did you just make a David Stern not alive? Yeah. See, Derek Brown's got a sweet chair. <laughs> That, you know that thing's a massage chair. Oh my god! Oh, has he got a has he got a, a brand already? Look at that! You see his brand? Yeah, DB. The inter intertwined DB. Yeah. I, 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 maybe I wouldn't go with DB. <laughs> Mine's with moose bag. I mean, I'm not going to say it to that guy's face. Hell no. No, I, I think he's uh, I think he's going to be a hell of a pro, but. Again, it was that Spielman comment. It's a guy who's a rotational player. It's not like a guy like Isaiah Simmons or Akut who's going to be on the field for all the players. Hey, John Jansen. Yeah, I'm surprised they didn't, yeah, I'm surprised they didn't go with uh, Simmons because of Keekly and, and, and they like that Thomas Davis kind of safety linebacker, you know. But they went with the run stopper. So, I mean, Simmons, the Lions move up. Get Simmons at 10. <laughs> but, you know, think about it, okay? It, uh, Brown does – Effectively, what what Keekley does, he just does it from the line as opposed to as a linebacker. You want a run stopper, you got your run stopper. And Keekley was a tackling machine. Yeah, I mean, I don't hate Brown. I don't like him high, but I mean, at least Keekley was on the field for all three downs. Derek Brown looks mean too. <laughs> Oh boy. Wow. Now we're getting full on Mel. You would think Mel would just be owning this without McShay here. Yeah. Huh. What was that? It was almost like the, the butt fumble there, except he didn't fumble. With the highlight they just showed of Joe Burrow falling down. You guys want to take this through the 10th pick? Take as long as you guys want. Yeah. I'm staying up till the end of the first round because they could trade back in the first round. Wait a sec. Wait a sec. Let's, Slow go, down. let's say this goes till what time is it now? We're at 9 13 and we're at pick eight. So we're looking at roughly, it's going to be pushing midnight by the time this is done. So how many, how, what time do you get up? 445. 445. All right. I'll be home by 10 30 and just pass out. Okay. Fair enough. All right. So the Cardinals, do the Cardinals go with offensive line to help out Kyler Murray? They go with wide oh, receiver. Oh, oh, oh. Look at Gus Malzahn's crib. Wow. He's got a Gallagher machine in the background. That's pretty sweet. You don't say it's hurry up, no huddle, huh? Yeah. It could be his office, too, maybe. Somebody full of themselves or what? 
That doesn't look like an officer who's got three of those uh, in the living room, and the big chairs there. That's... All right, so the Cardinals. Cardinals, they go offensive line to help out Kyler Murray, wide receiver to help out Kyler Murray, or they go the best player available, which is Isaiah I, I, it's got, I think it's Simmons or a wide receiver. Well, they just – didn't they just trade for DeAndre Hopkins and they still have uh, Kirk, Christian Kirk? Yeah. yeah. But I had mowed up on, on – I think it's either a Simmons or a tackle. I'm going to go for works. Or I mean, a good a wheel in Alabama. Look at Kingsbury's crib. The more this drags on, if Isaiah Simmons is available after this pick, do you start thinking next year's first and this year's second for Isaiah Simmons? Hmm. It's Simmons. There it is. Never mind. Look at that house. That's nice. They got a nice house, huh? That's really nice. Kansas. That's, that was a really nice house. That kid was a three star recruit, huh? Yep. I wonder if State recruited him. Probably. <laughs> hey. Here, let's do that now. Looking it up? Oh, yeah. Where the offers came from? Yeah, he had offers. Huh? Michigan offered him. Okay. He had offers from Illinois, Michigan, Missouri, Nebraska, Arizona State, Iowa, Iowa State, Kansas, Louisville, Minnesota. That's it. He made the right choice, huh? He went to Clemson as a three-star. Yeah. There's no Kaliki Hudson. So you bet you bet those Clemson fans didn't like it, the three-star? Did you see that video I posted with Jansen? Yeah, that was great. I sent it to him. It was unbelievable. Yeah. The people missed it. John Jansen was, we were doing the, we were watching, there was a 2000, it was 2000, 12 NFL draft there show this afternoon? Is that what you're talking about? No, I think it was Mike Williams in 2005, I think. Okay, whatever what it was, they had Jansen on stack talking about. Adrian Kramer. It was pretty funny. <laughs> what class was Isaiah Simmons in? 2017, is that right? Uh, 2016. <laughs> Evan, what are people saying on Facebook Live right now? Let me uh, call it up like the old folks would say. <laughs> oh, I think we we might have Jamie Samuelson joining us here in a minute. Oh, yeah, I forgot. We had a special guest. Jamie might be joining us. <laughs> Too late, Evan. Hey, buddy. Hey. Hey gang, how are you? What's We're up? doing well. How are you doing? How's everybody? Well, a uh, little underwhelmed. I mean, the pick is a safe pick. He's a great player, but the fact that they couldn't trade out of that spot, and and Miami's just laughing right now because they just waited and they got to him. Yeah. It hurts. I, I'm guessing Bob Quinn is a terrible poker player, right? <laughs> Seriously, Jamie. I mean, like, I got two aces, guys. Oh, I'm sure you do. Fold, fold, fold. I mean, Could you know? Bob I, uh, trying to strike a trade with Al Avila. Yeah, I said. I said this morning to Stoney. I wish the uh, Bernie Smile of it Stafford report came out today. It would have been much better for the Lions. It came out way too early. The Lions had a chance to rebut it and then make Stafford feel better about himself, as opposed to actually letting it out there that they were thinking of trading. You're right. You're 100 percent right. How do you feel about Akuda? I mean, Akuda's a terrific player. He helps, but they lost Slay, so out goes one, in comes the other. Are they a, are they a better defense minus Darius Slay plus Jeff Okuda and Trufant? I don't know. How does that make them that much better? That's my concern. But they did get a third player. round pick, which isn't great because they also got a lot more cash because Akuda won't cost as much. Yeah. But 
you got to do something with the cap space. They're sitting there with 28 million or something, and most of the best free agents are gone. So, you know, what are we talking about here? I don't want this lost on the on the people who just tuned into this. And Jamie, you're one of them. Doug is sitting in a um, a tailgating chair in his basement. <laughs> it's a tailgating chair, not a chair, chair, if you will. It's not, but sure, go with it. What? Do you, what how is it not? I want to make one thing clear. I'm not just tuning in. I was watching earlier. And I saw Stoney's entire family join in. Do you want me to bring my entire family down to high tech the entire broadcast as well or not? <laughs> sure. It's like you guys are like, Stoney, you had a draft party? He goes, no, it's just my family. And one by one, I saw their faces pop up. So there's uh, Josh. Is, Josh is not happy about the pick. Yeah. Uh, who did Josh want? Tua? Josh wanted Tua or he wanted a trade. Tua or a trade. Yeah, he was on the Josh, just, he was team. Team. Yes, right. Whoa. What does Doug have there? A putting green? Yeah, well, Doug just owned that putting green. He just wow. drained that, that six-footer. Wow. I didn't see it. Oh, not enough gas. Yeah. Do it again. I don't think the governor is going to allow that, Doug. Is that – are we allowed to do that? Quarantine. <laughs> yeah, he's quarantined. He's good. Oh, it might change so tomorrow, fast. Jamie. We might get new work tomorrow. Yeah, that's right. I forgot. Jamie, relax a little bit. Lean back. I. <laughs> you like the fact I'm wearing a sweater and shirt, but I'm wearing a – Wet pants at the bottom. Yeah. Business no, on the top. Just get done doing a, a Fox 2 hit or something? That's right, yeah. You'll see it at 1030, but it'll be like live, but we just finished doing it now. Yeah. Hey, by the way, in case you guys are wondering, Carlos Monterez already has a grade out. A. He gave the Lions pick an A. Well, we just, Jamie and I decided to do He drank some different Kool-Aid. When he went with Patricia, his uh, alma mater, okay. What, what happened to Carlos Menares? Like a year ago, the oh guy was God. killing everything for the Lions, like d- destroying him, eviscerating him with every column and every every word that he would write. Yeah. Now it's like, Lions are my team. He gave Perhaps. every one of their uh, free agent signings like A or maybe B at the worst. It was crazy. The greatest was the open Caldwell's his last year. Yeah, I think it was his last year. Opening day, Sunday. Open up the page, <laughs> front page of Free Press Sports. Lions should fire Caldwell. This season hasn't even started yet. Now all of a sudden he's a snobby. So, what do you got there? 2014 MVP? Yeah. Oh, it's Kershaw and Trout. Mm-hmm. Uh, should I got a. Uh, yeah, you show up here at Java Chamberlain. Okay. <laughs> DC Sabathia. Kershaw won the MVP in 2014. You better have. I don't remember that. <laughs> It's a knockoff. Yeah, seriously. There's Sabathia's chair. You want to see that? I remember that. I remember you buying that one. Yeah. I want to see the bases. Pull up a base. So, Doug and Gator, what was the finale of the fans today? They wanted who was going to be the pick. Isaiah Simmons. Isaiah Simmons? Yep. He won the last two. Two won the first two, and Isaiah won the last two. Yeah. But Buda got, Buda got a lot of love today from... Texts and tweets and like one call. Oh, is that right? Uh, Texas and Twitter love that. I mean, the funny thing about it is, if they had taken Akuda at seven, even if the second round pick or whoever they were to get from Miami turned into a complete dog and never did anything, Quinn would be hailed as a conquering hero. But because they took Okuda at three and didn't have a second pick, it's just it's 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 viewed kind of as trash, which is. Probably not the fairest thing in the world, but we know how Lions fans can be, which is justified. So it's I think it's six of the last seven corners that have gone in the top five have been Pro Bowlers. The only one that wasn't was the only one that I remember the Lions potentially getting quite legitimate. But here we go, pick us in. Whoa. Who called that? Was that you, Stormy? I think so, yeah. I think so. <laughs> he doesn't even know who he said. <laughs> you know, I, I, I remember. I mean, look, I'm two beers in. I'm ready. Oh boy. <laughs> Gates, you want some comments, right? I got an empty boot. We have to fill up again. People are still flooding our comments with positivity. Can't wait for the Lions to pass on Justin Fields next year <laughs> after uh, Lawrence goes first. Um, Jamie's kid is very smart. He knows what he's doing. Right. Doug is the Ben Crenshaw of this stream right now. 
I don't even know what that means. <laughs> oh, the putt. The putt. Oh, the putting oh, green. Oh, yeah, the putting um, green. Lawrence wants to know why Bob Quinn is holding on to all that cap space. That's a great question. And Wakey, do you remember when they created all the cap space by letting Eric Ebron go and then did nothing with it? Yep. Here we go again. <laughs> well, but they got, they're going to sign Galladay. There goes some of it. Do you think the Browns, are, Browns are going offensive linemen here, right? They move quick. Yeah, because they're going to get uh, the kid from Alabama, right? Wills or Werfs. Yeah. Do you think Quinn thinks he can roll that cap space over to his in, job, like a 401k? <laughs> you know, Kang just mentioned it. A lot of people are saying it on the stream, too. Does it make you feel better there there haven't been any trades yet? Little. Uh, little, actually. I'd feel much worse if the Giants had traded out of four. I'd be hot. Yeah. I do think um, – it almost feels like the league put out a mandate to teams like, look, this is going to be a technical mess, so can you guys make this as simple as possible? Because right. the draft is really following form tonight. It's, it's kind of dull in its predictability. Did you know C.J. Henderson picked off a pass from Wilton Spade for a touchdown? I just, I should have. I just learned that. Yeah. I was standing right there. So Stoney and I were texting about this before. I don't know if you brought this up already, Scott, but the uh, – the curse, I mean, I don't buy the curse, but Tua and the injury and the coronavirus scare, which meant the teams couldn't really get their hands on him literally and figuratively, I think it affected this entire process. I think it kind of screwed the Lions a little bit. Absolutely. Absolutely. Coronavirus is Willis McGay. Well, whatever, but it's like in normal circumstances, I think there would have been more play for, for Tua. I really do. I think I think God, Tua is yeah. Was Willis McGay. Yeah. Okay, here's another report about the Lions and trading down. Dan Graziano, you guys like him? Yeah, why not? He says they, the Lions tried to trade down, couldn't find a deal they liked. Went with Okuda. So it says, which matters most for a GM and a coach on the hot team is that they got a guy who they think will win this year. Well, what did they like? That's the million dollar question. Right. I, I wish somebody had any idea of what the offer was that they turned down. That's right. the problem, right? We'll never know. I guess not. Probably not. Next in. We go. Browns. Raise it prompter for Roger. I'm starting to buy Will's conspiracy that that's not Roger Goodell's basement. That's that's a lousy basement, right? I mean, Stoney's got a nicer basement than Roger Goodell, but I guess that shouldn't be the surprise. Well, that's just, just like a 16th basement. He doesn't want to show his theater section or whatever he's doing. Where'd your whole family go? They bailed on us? No, they're right here. Come say hi, guys. Well, hi. Speaking of bailing, I'm, I'm not leaving, guys. What? Um, You're not leaving? I am leaving. Yeah, it's, it's kind of like he said, I'm not. Yeah, I'm not girl. leaving. Let's say goodnight to your little girl. All right, here. You want to pass her bedtime? Yeah, that's that's a parenting mistake right there. Yeah, yeah, she she's yeah. not having it. I gotta go. <laughs> oh, hey, 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 hey. We had all this land at King's house. We had we had office right. babysitting. If you guys ever need a babysitter when this is over. Yeah, when this is over, at the fall of 2021. Yeah. <laughs> all right, boys. I'll see you guys in the morning. Talk to you tomorrow. Okay. Okay. So the Jets uh, with five and a half minutes left. I mean, is this when we start seeing receivers go, or are we going to still be running an offensive lineman? Jerry Judy. Uh, Jets. Jerry Judy's there for the Jets. We're an offensive lineman. Will Judy be the first uh, wide receiver taken, or because he's got the uh, the knee issue? To be we're a little concerned about. Sometimes he has a case of the dropsies. The new hotness in the NFL is all about having a, the the fastest receiver. Could Rugs go? CD Lamb is like the most complete guy. Judy's the best route runner. Who's it gonna be? I say Judy. Oh, I go Judy. Peter, I know you missed being at 24 seconds tonight, and I know you're way into the draft, but isn't there part of you that misses that random NHL playoff game that's going on on one of the TVs at Bob's Place at 24 yes. seconds? 
I kind of miss that, right? The random NBA or NHL playoff game. 100%. Any, any excuse to root against Toronto, and I'm all about it. Hey, Gator, just pull a random game out. Pretend we're, we're giving away something. Yeah. Right, right. Let's do uh, – we got, we got trivia. <laughs> <laughs> uh, based on uh, ESPN.com, who is the eighth best player available in the 2020 draft? And I'll give you a hint. It's someone who has not been drafted yet. Wait, wait. According to who? Jeremiah? Oh. I'll call Jerry Judy. Tristan Wirfs. Jamie? Say um, Shea Patterson. Tony? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Listen, you guys, welcome to my life, this entire broadcast. Oh, my daughter was talking to me at the same time. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. You asked me to do a trivia question. I did the trivia question, and you bailed on it. What is that? Classic Stony is what that is. Like when I lose Stony on the air, he goes, I'm sorry, somebody was texting me. Exactly. That shouldn't be happening. The answer is Mackay Becton. Mackay Becton. Oh. Who is, what is Louisville? What is Louisville? Tonight's the night I'm supposed to be. This is Jeopardy. Tonight's the night I'm supposed to be buying 21 listeners beers. It is. Yep. Maybe you should have 21. Yeah, Evan, I was thinking about Mackay Becton today. Uh, Eight Mile came out about 20 years ago, didn't it? So do you think he was named after Mackay Pfeiffer? I kind of do, actually. That thought crossed my mind today. I know it's spelled Nobody knew of Mackay was... Pfeiffer before Eight Mile. Well, he huh? had done some movies before that. Yeah, but he got into the song, and then all of a sudden he became, like, synonymous with it. I actually skipped out of work to go see that movie. Told him I had a doctor's appointment. Not at the ticket. Oh, Wasn't he at uh, Clockers? Yeah, Spike Lee movie. Clockers. I never saw that. Was he in that? Yeah, I thought he was the. I thought he was the main guy in that. Um, so that Harvey that. guy was the cop in it. Uh, was a cop in it. He was in the ER, like the, when they fired like the third Meet round of doctors, clockers. like long after Clooney and everybody. Meet the Clockers? <laughs> clockers. He was Ronald Strike Dumb in 95. Right. Yeah. Meet the yeah, Clockers. How, what year was that? 1995. That's too old. Okay. But Kai Pfeiffer was also in the famous music video of He Sweat and Nobody. Yeah. Random Dr. fact. Name that Mackay? Is that what for? <laughs> Tony, are you in an office? Pardon? You're in your office, right? Yeah, office, computer room, whatever. Uh, okay. Your office is big enough for your whole family to be in? No, I have a, a little, I've got a little couch right here. Gotcha. There's only two of them. Cindy left. Wait, wait. Is this, room on the floor? Is this window facing out the east? Is that east? Can you see the moat? Yeah, the moat's on the other, the moat's in the back. Okay. All right, you want to see? All right. Hi, Josh. Nice to meet you. I'll do my flex. Gator has the guitars. What's Stoney's flex going to be? I don't know. Just, just knock him off, Gavin. Just turn off his video, will you? The Emmy Award. Is that an Emmy? That's sweet. Yeah. Yeah, What's it an Emmy for? Producing Best of Bernie's Bloopers in 1989. Oh, boy. How many people uh, are up for it? I was going to say, how many people were producing Bernie's Bloopers? Uh, I don't know. It was just, well, it was me and two other, I mean, Bernie and another guy produced the show, so we all got in. Nice job. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Throw it on eBay. Hey, Doug, is that where you broadcast from when you're broadcasting from home where you're sitting right now? The basement? Uh, I'm upstairs in the office. Sorry. Sorry. Did you get a congratulatory uh, email from Fred Newman for winning that or no? No, I'm not talking to him right now, Gator. It's ridiculous that you would think he'd be answering your question. <laughs> Jamie, this is your life. The, the, the fact that you guys find it amusing is what I find amusing. Because I find it infuriating. It is so good. <laughs> <laughs> They're asking me why, why, what was the downside of the Lions trading down? Why didn't they trade down? Oh, you mean an hour ago? Yeah, but they were asking me. Yeah, I understand. <laughs> I didn't. You're making Ashley die over here just to let you know. 
Is Michael wow. Irvin gonna sweat himself through the uh, through the suit tonight or no? Is there any chance he's wearing pants with that suit? Oh. But is his suit really worse than Trey Wingo's? I think it's kind of sharp. Look, Irvin can pull it off. I'm just wondering if he's gonna get too worked up, and next thing you know, we're gonna just see a river of perspiration. That's a suit that Sully rejected. Do you think, of, do you think of Stafford <laughs> were doing this right now? He'd have his uh, Pro Bowl MVP trophy behind him. Look at this. Trade. Doesn't look like it. They say it's a trade. I thought I heard the trade just say trade. So they haven't had a trade in the first ten. Oh. Sorry, Josh just translated for me how there wasn't a trade. Is that senior lamb right there? Yep. All right. I couldn't. I, I don't read well. I'm gonna guess it's both. Uh, Rugs or CD Lamb. Here we go. Oh, the Jet fans are pissed. They wanted to receive her. Look, they went with the eighth best player available according to ESPN.com. Makai Becton. What? You should ask that trivia question, Gator. Sorry, puppy. Did your dog show up? And she's, apparently she's on the couch in front of me. She got a little, like, oh, no, no, now she's lying back down. She's okay. Oh, that's a big that's boy. boy. That is that's a big boy. Not bear. I think, is that a domestic going on right now? That's, there's going to be a massive outbreak of COVID-19 among all the draft families because there is a lot of... Uh, Except for gentlemen. Except for Gettleman, yeah. <laughs> Mr. Mask. Somebody said, somebody on Twitter said to me, maybe he was trying to hide his lips so nobody could read his lips. And I said, that's actually not the worst theory in the world because I don't know why else he'd be reading, doing it. I know. Why would you wear a mask by, 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 your, by yourself? Unless he was like making an inside joke to a buddy online or something. I mean, it was just weird. Okay. Tell me you guys just saw the Makai Beckham basketball I did, and you know you're fat when you're wearing a long sleeve shirt underneath your basketball jersey. That's the new look now. <laughs> Oliver Miller and Kareem Biggins. I only say this because I'm wearing a long sleeve shirt underneath. My <laughs> right now. Beckton's dad's a big boy, eh? That's dad. Well, he had to get it from somebody. I mean, he's six seven and three seventy. Great. Guy was Valeni's favorite pick for about five minutes. He was a wide receiver. Why they took him? I don't know. Oh, they, 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 he helped on the offense. So is Valeni pissed that they uh, that they took a, a lineman with four? Yeah, he's gotta be pissed. Of course, it doesn't matter what whatever the thing is. Will Birchfield, I was actually on the phone with him. He liked the pick. He's a big Giants fan. Birchie likes it. Yeah, they need offensive line help. So they were a lot of big people in the Beckton family, right? Yeah. Even his sister's tall. Why is Jim Caldwell there? Is th <laughs> <laughs> he's like, look at me. <laughs> his dad looks like Mark Henry. WWE all of these kids are screwing up draft trades and stuff. Like, why are they all in the room? Yeah. Like, and how do they have two jet helmets on your desk and neither one of them is a jet helmet phone? I know, right? That's an outrage. Is that they should have brought that back for this. Wait, was that tattoo on the back of his head? What was it? It kind of looked like it, right? Yeah. yeah. Lions should have drafted this kid. Okay. Now my whole family's here, guys. See? Oh, hey. Hey. <laughs> hey, Christy. Hey, Christy. Hi, Catherine, she got curlers in. We're not sure why. Hey, guys, did you let them know they're on Facebook? Yeah, yeah, check the curlers out. Yeah, okay, Doug just took those curls. Oh, oh. Right, yeah. All right. Okay. Hey, anyway, hold on, hold on. Who's cutting hair in your house? Jamie, who's cutting hair in your house? No one. I, my hair is really long. Me, I trimmed around. Oh yeah, she did trim around. Yeah. I trimmed around here and did a little. <laughs> yeah. So, are you encouraging the uh, mustache? It's not a mustache, damn it. The <laughs> looks like a mustache. It's not a mustache. It looks like John Tesh. Hey, uh, Joe Dirt. 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 Joe Dirt.
Yeah, you guys remember, you know that SNL sketch with the, the Tesh brothers, blah, 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 basketball? Yeah. I feel like I look like a Tesh right now because my hair <laughs> down is like floppy and I got this bad goatee, so this may be a casualty of the draft night process. Yeah, I don't know why why Christy's dodging the question. Are you asking him to grow the mustache? Oh, oh no, 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 no. But I, I said, sure, go ahead. Yeah, she said it really high like that, too. She's like, yeah. 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 Hi guys, have fun tonight. Where's Mayak at? Uh, well, man, it is it is kitchen or at the bar, right? That's a, that's a wet bar. But like, did he just give up and he's like, all right, I'm out? And you, you guys have discussed the Clay, Cliff Kingsbury setup already, I assume. Yeah, right? Unbelievable. Dress shoes, no socks. The two things that got the most talk were Kingsbury setup and the chair covers at Joe Burrow's house. <laughs> yeah, Joe Burrow. First, the first thing he's buying is his mom and dad a new house. That was not a, that was not a play. That was like, that was like married with children set or something like that, right? Piper with the bad lighting in his house and the glasses when he leans down, he looks like a character from Goodfellas. They can't get more readers. <laughs> Henry Ruggs. Ruggs sounds right. Gordon, Gordon Love. The Las Vegas Raiders select Henry Ruggs. Right. Speed. Yep. Wait. Who's the fastest player? Ruggs. Jerry Judy's got to be pissed. Oh, Sunglasses indoors. Because they pick their teammates, and Jerry Judy, I thought he was better. I thought the best was Henry Ruggs. 427. Oh, he's better. Hey, listen, he, he, he gets to uh, go to a city that, you know, the, the mayor wants him to just go ahead and hang out the casino right now. That's exactly. Cool. You know? That's right. Spend some of that uh, signing bonus right here in the beautiful city of uh, Las Vegas. I've heard if he goes to the D and mentions Stoney that uh, Derek Stevens might buy him a beverage. <laughs> this is true. Yeah. Um, when we see it traded off. Will we? Yeah. yeah. We might see one here. The the rumor, the hot rumor is that San Francisco has been wanting to trade out of this spot. Uh, I'm not sure why. We got two first round picks. You got one here at 13. You could help out your team tremendously by by adding a weapon offensively like Jerry Judy here or C.D. Lamb. But who's a covetable player for a lesser team? I mean, it. The story of this draft is the wide receivers, right? So would a team really want to trade up? I guess Judy would be a guy I would trade up for if I would need Philly, a wide Philly needs a wide receiver, but they'll probably they can get one still at 21, wherever the hell they are. I, I'm torn between who I see, I like all three receivers. I was torn which one was better between CeeDee Lamb, Judy, and Ruggs. Ruggs obviously has the speed, but Judy and Lamb, and Judy's a great route runner, but Lamb seems like he's so complete. He just doesn't do anything badly. He runs well. Catches the ball, runs good routes. He's a tough, tough runner after the catch. But Jamie, this is big for your man. Yeah, I mean, I've lost my Ninerness over the years. I mean, yeah, for sure. I, I do like them, but I mean, it's not. Trust me, I'm not trying to say the Lions win at this point than the Niners. How do you lose your Ninerness, but you hang out with the Giants, love? I don't know. I don't know. It just kind of happened that way, you know. Yeah, same thing. I, mean, I still root. I still root for the Philly team, but I like the Detroit team better. No yeah, but you still root for Philly. You, this guy, like, he doesn't even care about this. The Niners. Yeah, no, I like them, but I'm not. I'm not, I'm not as passionate about them like I. I was. Yeah. Has anyone on here said Philly sucks yet? <laughs> you just did. Say what? Stony sucks. No, I said Philly sucks. By the way, do you guys have do you guys have banners of yourself hanging around the house like these guys do? No, but I almost wore the same robe. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> robe is sweet. Tony has that. Tony, go get your robe. All right, I'm gonna go get my robe. I'll be right back. Tony Wojo robe. <laughs> Did you guys see Caliendo doing uh, a Gruden? Is he trying to get into a Zoom chat? Yeah. Oh my God. Or like turns like that? Yeah. yeah. Oh, the one with Kuiper doing breaking out of snacks. That was pretty funny. Yeah, that. You probably want the robe. I'll go get it. Are these Gordon's grandkids or who's that? What's going on here? 
like the the cup. It was like a couple, like two, like a teenage couple behind him. We're going robes, right? <laughs> oh, crap. Oh, no. Jesse. Is that a robe? Is that a robe or is that a blanket? It's a yeah, robe. Blanket. Stand up. Give us a full, uh... Look at that. You just went I... twice, robe? Really? That's impressive. I mean, if Rubs is going to wear a robe, okay. I'm wearing a robe. I don't have a robe. Tony's Tony's pissed. He's going to get his robe right now. Oh, that's a cool spice robe. Evan. So you got the gift that we sent you then. Christy and I sent you and Ashley his and hers robe. So I'm glad you guys got them. That's great. Yeah. Ashley's not wearing hers though. She's being a hater. Why is, why is he wearing a robe? Not you, Evan. <laughs> it says Old Spice. Oh, he's got a sponsorship? Oh, yeah. He just made a million. Where'd Stoney go? To get his robe. Get his robe. <laughs> 100% he went to get a robe. Oh. Yeah. What's scary is, will he be wearing anything underneath the robe? Fair question. I mean, you know him better than anybody else, Jamie. Well, he shared oh, all here's one better. You guys will enjoy people. this. Oh, yeah, the bride and groom, right? It's a balloon version of me. <laughs> nice. Later, he, uh, Stoney did share with me and Heather on the air two days ago that he slept nude the night before. Look at this guy. Look at that. <laughs> it's, it's like a glove. A <laughs> glove. A rubber glove. Get back. Tony, turn around. Let me see the back. <laughs> Why was that thing readily available? Like it's great. Come up in this Wow. Wow. They're moving up one spot? Yeah. Well, kind of an offensive lineman, I guess. They're not moving up. They got that pick and the next pick. They get both of them? They move from, uh, well, what did they do? They do whatever Tom Brady wants them to do. Yeah. <laughs> what do you say? They do whatever Tom Brady wants them to do. Yeah, this better work or uh, for Tampa Bay or <laughs> it's going to be a disaster for the franchise. You're going to draft Julian Edelman. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it looks like we might have a, a special guest joining us here. Oh, I see. Can you guys hear me? Yeah. yeah. Oh, big time. We don't see you. Can we see you? You don't see me. Hold on. Oh, you click on the video. Yeah, I'm figuring it out. There we go. <laughs> Look at him. Ah, oh, look at this oh. guy, Mr. Broadcast. Look at this setup this guy has. Look at this guy. Oh. Hey, you asked if I wanted to be on. I said, yeah, I'll go down to the studio. Look at wow. him. Wow. Look at him. <laughs> John, me and Evan are wearing robes because the last guy wore a robe. I can't believe he was wearing a robe. I mean, come on, man. Come on, here we go. You wear a robe when you got that? <laughs> Just to know that you have a robe. Wait, what's on the back? Stony Mojo Radio Thon Room. <laughs> so, John, we, we, we realized that you were part of the Ricky Williams trade. You were one of the draft selections that the Skins got in that trade. Yeah, actually, it was um, the Skins had pick 40, Chicago had 37, and then uh, they, ended up dra they ended up trading with Chicago with, to go up to 37 to, uh, to select me. Well, Peter, could you tell a story about... You and Brad Statter during that draft. <laughs> well, that was the year that uh, who the Lions ended up. The Lions ended up had, they had two first round picks that year. Yeah, and they, they Claiborne and Gibson. They took Claiborne and Gibson, and <laughs> instead of taking the there's a story. Chris Claiborne made Chris Claiborne an outside linebacker, even though he's a middle linebacker in college. He was a great middle linebacker at USC. But the Lions, in their infinite wisdom, put him outside instead of taking Javon Curse. Who was the best outside backer at the time? Yeah. First had a great career, Claiborne, not so much. So the second first round pick, they have an opportunity to take John Jansen, and they do not. They select Aaron Gibson instead. So I'm at the uh, Silverdome. I was in the broadcast bubble, or the, the uh, I'm sorry, I was in a practice bubble doing a pre the uh, draft show, and Brandy was inside the uh, the dome. Uh, is that's where they were staying, where he and Mark Champion were stationed. 
So I, I walk up there just because I've got like a half an hour between segments that we're going to do. And I see Tim outside. <laughs> and Jim's just shaking his head. I go, what do you think of the pick? <laughs> he goes, I can't say what he said completely. <laughs> but suffice it to say, he was not happy with the selection of Aaron Gibson. He may have said something about his weight. Instead, they could have had a, a bookend tackle for years in John Jansen, and they, they missed the opportunity. Yeah, but he can do the splits. He said, <laughs> effing Lions. <laughs> hey, that, uh, hey, you know what? It's, it just goes right along with everything we've seen the Lions do. do. But uh, what do you guys think so far about the, the Okuda pick? I mean, it's pretty predictable, but – any any yeah, opinions? I can't imagine they couldn't even get like a fifth round pick to move two spots. It's ridiculous. But he's a safe pick. He's a great player. There's no there's nothing against the player. It's a disappointing yeah. situation that they had there had to be interest. They could have called one of the teams bluffs and they didn't do it. And whatever offer they came in, they said it wasn't good enough. I yeah. mean, you would have taken a pack of gum to go back and get the same player. Yeah, they yeah, had great uh, – Like a fifth-round pick, so I don't get it. Yeah, they had good draft capital uh, and didn't do a whole lot with it. So, But they got a good player. Austin Works goes, goes to uh, Tampa, John. Okay. John, why do you got so much Minnesota M all over the place? <laughs> Is this broadcast live, or can I actually make a gesture and say what I want to say? <laughs> I'm, I'm assuming you're broadcasting this live somewhere, so I will refrain myself until until quarantine is over. Uh, you know, Evan, you might want to stay in quarantine maybe a week or two past the end date <laughs> because there may be a few things that I need to get out of my system, and you would be the perfect guy for me to see first. <laughs> hey, Evan, Evan. Evan, we had John on yesterday, and right after he got off the air, Stoney dropped the Clinton Portis bomb, and I'm like, whoa. You wait until John gets off the air before you drop that name? Hey, Evan just be like right me and say it to his face. face. What? I said, just be like me and say it to his face. And we're oh, in Jersey. Yeah. We, we asked him, we asked him like, you asked about horrible picks, and I explained how the uh, Columbia Edwards thing was like the worst thing. Yeah. No idea what's going on there, but I'll take it. So, John, what's your take on um, – on Tua with all the injury scare and everything like that. Do you think uh, you think that hurt the Lions draft capital because teams don't quite know what they're getting because they can't work them out themselves because of the coronavirus? Yeah, exactly. And it, it's it was interesting to me. I don't know if you guys caught this at the beginning when they were talking. There was one medical staff that had a chance to go down. They picked one of the 32 medical staffs, and it just so happened to be the Miami Dolphins medical yeah. staff that went down there to check him out. And yeah, I think that it, 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 the hip is a big deal. Don't get me wrong. It's a big deal. But I think every year that he played, other than that second half of the national championship game, when we got introduced to Tua every year, he had, you know, the ankle wrap, he's got both ankles wrapped and he's had a knee. He's had his hand. Now he's got the hip. If you can't stay healthy in 12 games in college, why would we think he could stay healthy in 16 games in the NFL, soon to be 17 games? And so I think that scared a, that scared a lot of teams away. The question, though, is, and I disagree with this one time ago, that you thought that A.J. Epineza was a better fit for the Lions than Chase Young. Yeah. And I never got your explanation. You can still feel that way? They still could I get Epineza here, right? Yeah, well, they, they, technically they could still get Epineza. Yeah, I mean, if it depends, I mean, they're not Epineza is not going to make it to the second round. Why? Why did you feel that way? Because of the style of defense that they play, he could be that that head up four technique in a three four defense. If they shift it to a a three four over or under, he could play the outside, you know, rush end. He could play any of those positions. It makes him a, a lot more versatile in what Matt Patricia is trying to do on defense, or at least what we think he's trying to do on defense. Not really sure anymore. But you don't think Chase Young could do all that? No, he can't. Oh, my God. I would love for him to line up as a four technique across from me. I would crush him. He's just not big enough to be in there. He could play that at college, play all those positions across front, and he could play a, a three technique or a four technique in a 
you know, in a for sure pass situation, but he's not going to hold up as a head up four, uh, you know, as a as a two gapper. That's just not how he's made or built. But he'll beat you around the edge. No, he won't. <laughs> that face is great. Josh, like, he's ready to kick some ass there. I'm still waiting for the phone to ring. When Doug texted me, I thought, my God, oh, oh, it's Doug. Oh, I thought maybe it was the Cardinals or somebody. Yeah. I could be a package deal with, um, uh, God, who was our wide receiver that quit? Calvin. Oh, Calvin. Yeah, I almost forgot his name. What happens when you quit? Evan, you hit the nail on the head. We were texting today. John is not fond of people that can still play that choose not to. It's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Grock came back. Grock came back. Hey, I, I, I'm willing to come back. I have the willingness. How many plays okay. you got left? How many you plays know, I got left? As many as you need. You know Brady. You can, you I was going to say, do you happen to know Tom Brady by any stretch of the imagination? Oh, that's right. I do. I do. He's not calling, though, huh? He has not called yet. He has not called yet. I shot him an email earlier. You're the high bidder on going out to dinner with him at $775,000. Yeah, and he's paying. <laughs> hey, will you, can you text him, John, to see if he'll join our Facebook Live discussion this tonight? Yeah, I'll shoot him an email right now. All right, cool, yeah. Make sure you let him in, Evan. Yeah. Can I, I just forward him the same email, uh, Doug? Yeah. What about Brian Hoyer? Brian Hoyer, who? I'm looking for Patriots quarterbacks. Yeah. No. Where's, where's Connor Cup tonight? What about Ryan Mallon? Right That's a Patriots quarterback. Hey, he might be available right now. Here's the thing. Who gets drafted? Shea Patterson or Brian Lewerke? Lewerke. Lewerke. Uh, I, we had Lewerke on uh, the Big Ten channel. Actually, he's going to air tomorrow. We taped him yesterday. He's going to air tomorrow. Um, and I really do think that he'll be a – he'll be a – third string practice squad guy. Shea Patterson will be a practice squad guy too. He just won't get drafted. Now there's a great discussion. Is it better to be drafted in the seventh round by a team that you don't get to pick, they pick you, or is it better to be slip into that un, undrafted, you know, un, unrestricted rookie free agent and then pick the system, pick the scenario, pick the situation that you want to go in? Depends how much you want to hear the, the assistant assistant commissioner call your name. Yeah. Yeah. It, 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 at that point, when you're when you get to the seventh round, especially as a quarterback, it's better to make your own pick than it is to have somebody pick right. for you. It's a risky move, John, to tape that interview today and run it back tomorrow. If he gets picked tonight, it's useless. <laughs> I'm just you know. gonna say the same thing. I know. I know. I was playing the odds. I was going with the okay. over and under, and I went with the over. All right. All right. I like. Denver it. just goes in danger of letting the clock run out on here. They got 25 seconds left before the pick's gotta oh. be in. Hey, tell them. Tell, Tell the guy to run outside and unplug his internet. They promised to stop the clock if he had an internet issue. Yeah, it's the first time I've seen Shanahan without that hat on. I know. Don't you think there's kind of a Brad Osmus thing going on there, Doug? What, Shanahan? They look, they look, they similar look. No, I think, I think one's actually a good coach and one's not. I didn't mean it. <laughs> okay. Okay. Because he's, got, he's got less of a bend than, than Doug Karsh does in his hat. Yeah. I hate that hat. Yeah. Yeah, dude. Hate Nobody likes the offset, man. Mm -hmm. Come on, Evan. No, Evan's got a good bend. I bend. Yeah. Well like done. Spring training hat that never was. Yeah. Job. Jerry Judy does not look happy. No. no he's pissed. You got passed over by your teammate? Yep. Who's that? <laughs> Who did not know they were on camera. <laughs> Anybody surprised there's been no technical issues other than Goodell make, saying a few things when not knowing he's on the camera? They're, I'm they, shocked. The NFL is the king. They're yeah. Yeah, I mean, I watched the WNBA draft just to see the technical difficulties. <laughs> yeah, sure, Doug. Oh, I did. I, I did. And they were, it was a mess. This is going smooth. Hey, by the way, what, we have a competition how many kids we can fit in one shot? I don't understand the kids. Yeah, oh, Geico God, Geico. You guys are, are uh, you're potent. I got it. See that Geico commercial? Yeah. <laughs> you know who that is? 
Yeah, and it's a uh, uh, former Michigan player. Elliot Mueller. There you go. There's the pick's in. Pick. This is the trade, right? Or Oh, no, they traded back. Wow, they didn't go receiver. They add to the defensive line in San Francisco? <laughs> wow. What? Oh, check out that you know count. What? You think there's, that count just really, there's a that trade? Awesome. There's got to be a fridge in there, oh, right? No, yeah, you see it's that trade. warm, though. Look to the left. San Francisco made that pick with, like, 15 seconds to go, right? Yeah. Do they need a defensive lineman? No. Or are they no. trying to work a trade? Well, don't forget they traded what's the space of the Colts need to get this pick, who was a defensive tackle. So they basically just replaced what was it, Armstead? Brucker. Brucker. What? Which one was it? Was it Brucker? Yeah. I don't know. I got a feeling we could see a trade. It, it might be a trade, but maybe I'm wrong. You're right. I think you might be right. Oh, well, I think Denver's salivating between one of the two wide receivers. They're happy. Oh, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Oh. Oh, hey, was that Ron Washington? Yeah, Somebody just fell out of the chair. I thought maybe it was Ron Washington. Jamie, was it? <laughs> yeah. Or is it Ron? Was. Is that his name? No, uh, Hunter. Ron Hunter, right? Ron Hunter. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah, Jamie, you see that couch is worn a little bit, huh? Yeah, yeah. No, he's gonna have to buy his family a new couch. <laughs> Judy's basement looks sweet, though. He's already spent that money. Okay, out of everybody's house we've seen tonight, everybody's. Set up. Number one is Kingsbury, right? I think it's Kingsbury. Yeah, yeah. Kingsbury's is pretty great. Yeah. He looked like the guy in that old uh, uh, what was the uh, the the poster where the guy's sitting back and it's like from the eighties. You're sitting back and it's it was for speakers. Oh yeah, yeah. Speakers. Oh, it was, I think it was for a tape, wasn't it? Like Max. Yeah, Bell it was like BASF tape or something like that. Yeah. yeah. The best player set up is Isaiah Simmons. The worst is Joe Burrow, right? Yes. It's only because the chair cover, man. Yeah. Seven four. John Lynch didn't look like anything he had much from that state. Wow. You know, it is one of the uh, four is in Ohio, so I uh, would say that uh, he's going to upgrade. I think he's going to help upgrade his family. You think John, did you see Desmond with Ryan Day today? I did. Yeah. Uh, that's yeah. great. The Property Brothers? <laughs> he does look like a Property Brother. Yeah. He, he grew that beard just so he w- we would stop saying he was one of the Property Brothers. He's the triplet. <laughs> <laughs> they have another brother. There is a third brother. Is what? It really? It's, it's Ryan Day. There's, twin. Oh, there's, there's twins and they have another brother. Yeah. Oh, I got to look this guy here. He's like Cooper hey, Manning. Cooper? He's like the uh, unsuccessful Manning brother. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so which feed are you guys watching? JD Scott. Watch ESPN. Oh, no, you got to watch ABC. It's better than watching Booger. He comes into South Carolina. He's tall. All right, I'll switch. I thought they were all the same. No, ABC has the college game day crew. Oh, they do? I didn't yeah. know. Yeah. Yeah. Not Corso, though, I hope, right? <laughs> <laughs> no. Nuh-uh. He's in he's an extreme quarantine. Yeah. Put on the head for the, uh, the new uh, trap. Now. With all the uh, mascot. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> all right, Doug. So we got another story on our website. This is about the contract that Akuda's going to get compared to what Darius Slay had. Yeah. He's in line for a four-year, thirty-three and a half million dollar contract with a twenty-two million dollar signing bonus, yeah. which is about eight point four million per year. Where Slay got. 15 or got 16.7 per year so they're saving eight million bucks a year that's great with if you do anything there. with the money right i mean you got to do something with the money yeah, they got oh, oh, lion's oh head. there we go do you hear my son what he just said what does that fit your head i <laughs> <laughs> can't think that jokes from him for god's sake that's, uh, that's just not right oh elway looking uh so, John, if you had Herb Street's job and you had to set up your basement like Herb Street does, <coughs> would you have the Jansen jerseys like he does? I mean, Herb Street, with all due respect, I'm not trying to compare to Kirk Herb Street. You were like an All-American. Herb Street was barely, did he even start for Ohio State? 
He started his senior year. Yeah. Um, and I do have mine. They're just on the other side of the computer. I've got my Redskins and, and I got a national championship jersey. I wonder if he's got one of those. Wow. I, I don't, I don't think he does. does. Do you have a kick-ass selection of uh, college helmets, though, like he does? No, uh, there's only one college helmet. <laughs> Oh, actually, he's got like like ten of them or something. They're great. Got, no, oh, I know, but there's only one. Is, is Pizza Hut a sponsor? You got Pizza Hut oh, uh, receivers homes. Oregon. You had, I remember you had one helmet for four years or five years, right? What's that? Yeah. Same helmet. I'm sure John doesn't remember this, but when he was playing for the uh, Lions, Rich Rod did his thing where he said that the players wouldn't get the wings on their helmet until they earned them. So they've been. <laughs> Camp, they had blue helmets. I remember I asked John about that, and he was visibly angry. Visibly angry. Very duty goes to the Broncos. Well, um, that's a good spot right there. Is it? Is that deflated? Do you need to pump that up, John? No, it's ready to go. I told you I'm ready. <laughs> is it? Uh, is it league approved, or are you going to be like? Uh, no, I'm with you now. Brown? Yeah, I'm I'm with AB. He and I roll together. We got the same. Uh, uh, we we have the same fruit as well. The same uh, uh, gummies. <laughs> <laughs> Jamie, should I pull out my Scott Mitchell helmet with the autograph to my Jewish buddy? <laughs> oh, I didn't know you had one. Does oh yeah. The fact uh, that it says to my Jewish buddy. Mike I know Scott it's so Mitchell. Scott Mitchell. <laughs> didn't, it not, didn't it say Jewish in quotes? I don't know. I'll check. I'll be right, I'll be right back. It looks like it's a like it's fictional or a nickname. I can't believe Stoney took off the robe. I'm I wrong. Believe he had a robe. Jamie, Stoney. Uh, out of all you guys, uh, how many? Uh, we obviously know Jamie and Stoney have robes. Uh, Gator, do you own a robe? I don't have a robe. You That's don't have a robe. Wojo. From Wojo, his days with Wojo. Oh, okay. I do not own a robe. I thought about it, and then I bought another guitar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, these are just the ones on the wall. I got cases. Yeah. Cases. There's another one up there. Some cases over here. Right, let's see what I collect. Evan, did you bring a robe back from the honeymoon? No, we got it before the honeymoon, actually. This is a wedding gift. So, so John. <laughs> you brought one from the hotel. Jewish is not in quotes, but Stoney is. Nice. Okay. What do you collect, Doug? Here's my bar. Oh, oh mini helmets. What is that, like plexiglass over it? Yeah. Yeah, I bought every mini helmet from football. That's awesome. Yeah. You arrange them in standings each week after the results of Saturday? I, I, tried right, to line them up. I tried to line them up opposite their rival. Oh. So, nice. I got uh, Michigan, Ohio State in the middle. Yeah. The time the, the Spartans played, Penn State year. I got uh, Indiana, Purdue. Minnesota, Iowa. You have, do you have to do. So you have Michigan facing Ohio State, then you have Michigan State kind of behind them, trying to get in between them. <laughs> I got Michigan State, Penn State, because oh yeah, that, that, yeah, Grant, the, the Land Grant, Grant Trophy. Yeah, you know, good game every year. Yeah, it kind of was cool. I mean, it was cool. Would you rather play them or Rutgers at the end of every year? I'd rather play Rutgers, get a win. Program win, baby. Yep. Yeah. Typical Spartan answer. That's right. <laughs> Try to get a win, a, a, a dull win over Rutgers or get blown out by Ohio State. Yeah. <laughs> hey, if you're not in the game, you can't win. They haven't been okay. the You want a trivia question? <sighs> yes. Yeah. Makai Becton. <laughs> Named after Mackay Pfeiffer. Oh. Um, okay. Matthew Stafford was drafted in 2009. Can you name how many players from that draft played through last year? A okay. number. Six. Seven. Three. Fourteen. 
15. Wow, yes, Jamie Samuelson for the win. 15 players. Wow. <laughs> nice. Can you guys name the quarterbacks that were also in that draft? Price is right. Sanchez was part of that draft. Yes. Yeah. Bradford? No. Nope. Nope. Bradford was the year after. Um, Sanchez. There was a quarterback, uh, Josh Freeman. Yep. All oh, right, Tampa. Quarterback, yeah. West Virginia. Pat White. Oh, Pat White, right? Yeah. He was a wide receiver, though. Um, e. Bomar. Red Bomar, yeah. Bomar. Real. None. Painter. Curtis Painter. Curtis Painter. Woo! <laughs> Stoney even strapped it up. Good yeah, for you, Stoney. Strap it on. It's not the first time he's done it. <laughs> hey! <laughs> <laughs> didn't hear you. Don't worry. Are you oblivious to what you just said? Yes. Uh, I, what were you laughing at? <laughs> and it only lasted 10 seconds. I know. My kids are laughing at me, too. Which is for different reasons, but that's okay. I love Balloon Evan in the background, by the way. It's pretty good. Balloon Evan's awesome. Balloon Ashley deflated. I'm the one <laughs> that's left. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not touching it, man. No. <laughs> I'm not leaving it alone. <laughs> Is the draft still going on? Still going on. The Falcons are on. The draft. Oh, oh, the, the, the pick is in. Yeah, yeah, who's get number one in the WNBA NBA draft? The chick from Oregon? Yep. Did, yeah. uh, did Canelli get drafted? <laughs> Not haven't we got any questions coming in to us? No, you didn't? No, I haven't checked in a while. Oh, there's still a bunch of people watching. Um, Jamie's mustache is top notch. Thanks Not for a your mustache. <laughs> Stoney looks like Wayne Fonts with the helmet on and his face squished. Um, right. People want Doug to put on his bike helmet to match John and Stoney. <laughs> Hold on, it's right next to him. <laughs> yeah. It's never too People far. Gator to play Smoke the Water. Smoke on the Water. All right. Oh, the Home Depot. There you go. Probably, I'll probably get in trouble with the sponsors for this. Um, <laughs> brought to you by Lowe's. Did you pay attention lately, Doug? <laughs> People are starting to think that you guys may have been drinking a little bit. Say it again? People think exactly. that you might have been drinking? Say it. Oh, yeah. Um, What's your guys' prediction on the rankings, or the uh, the ratings for tonight? Oh, it's going to be through the roof. I predict it would be higher than the Super Bowl. Like combined, right? You could take a combined. Oh, yeah, combined. Yeah. Do the Falcons have like the worst draft rooms ever? Look at Dimitrov's kid on the right. Just like, like him. Oh, is that a blow up couch? Yeah, yeah what is that? Is that a like bank a from a restaurant. I was just going to say. Hotel lobby. We'd like a table, please. No, oh, his kid's going to be such a little something or other. And it's little Jeremy's birthday. Do you think maybe we can get a, a, a candle on the happy birthday wish? Uh. Oh, there goes a corner. Hey, John, how do you feel about the whole uh, bacon shortage ready to come up? You okay? You, you, you stocked up? Trust me, I've, I've secured those, uh, um, those sources. I've been cultivating my uh, supply chain for a number of years, and, uh, and I will not go dry. Hey, real quick, right. guys, if I can interject real, real quick. This is my daughter, Catherine. Hi. And she looks at the screen, she goes, is that Gator? She's been a long-time Gator fan, going back to when she was like two years old. She wow. Loved Gator. Hi. Yeah. Right. <laughs> play her a tune. Huh? You want her Gator to play something? I just I just played Smoke in the Water. You missed it. Oh, okay. Hold on, I got to, yeah. Oh, yeah, it's that's great video. This is from, I shot this at the 2012 World Series. 
It was one day we were driving in the car and she was like two, you know, your kids say weird things in the car. And yep. she heard a promo maybe for your show or a different show. I think I just started working the ticket. And all of a sudden she goes, there's a back seat. I just hear this little voice say, what about Gator? <laughs> Something just stuck with her. So that's what right. it was. Yeah. You're not the first to ask that question. Yeah. Yeah, yeah Evan. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. Good night, guys. Good night. Love you. Good night. Oh. Oh. Are you on a bed, Jamie? <laughs> well, he's got to get up for work soon. Oh, Jamie's down in the air. He's staying up for the whole first round. I, I did say that, but I thought the lines would be trading down. Um, I'm, at, I'm at 2%. Real quick, one other thing from my kid, Ev, uh, Evan. Josh wants to know. When should we play 2K next? A rematch. How about Saturday after the draft? I'm in. All right, there it is. Saturday. Set. Josh dominated Evan in 2K last time. Really? I'm going to bring the balls. I'll bring the Hey guys, I don't know if you saw that. The Lions haven't won a conference championship uh, since 19, uh, well, ever. Um, they're one of the six teams that hadn't won a conference championship since 66. Yeah, right? Where did you see that? On ESPN. That would mean that they haven't gone to a Super Bowl then, right? What? <laughs> right around the Super Bowl. John, what do you think of Michael Irvin's suit? It, I, I, I trust me, I can't get past his smile. <laughs> That's why I'm not watching on ESPN. Him and Booger, I can't take him. Look at Jerry Jones' war bucket. John, do you have, do you have a misshapen finger like a Booger, or are your fingers all in uh, good good shape? No, I've got, I've, well, I've only got one that, that won't go straight. Oh, that won't go straight? Yeah, but the rest of them seem to work all right, most days. Never specifically when that happened, or is that just wear and tear? Uh, that one actually happened in high school. Oh, really? Yeah, that one goes way back. We're gonna have the, we have to have the rankings of the offensive linemen analysts. You got Jansen, Jeff Schwartz, Ross Tucker, Baldinger. You know, there are some others, too, right? Who am I missing? Well, you guys are smart. Schlereth. We'll throw the Ross, in there. Right, right. So Ross Tucker was drafted with the Redskins when I was there, coming out of Princeton. And oh, he's a big fan of yours, John. Yeah, he's a good kid. He's a good kid. He's we just had him on last week, and he was just like, oh, "I went to Princeton." There's a people weren't partying. It was like, "What the heck's going on?" And my parents wanted me to go to school. Had you know. People were drinking beer, then he met some guy from Detroit and they yeah. were doing shot what did they say, Jamie? Like shots of Everclear or, or Jaeger bombs? Yeah. And, yeah. All right, I'm gonna print this there. Yeah. I guess Jerry wins for best setup if he's got his own little uh, thing behind him. Yeah. Who's your guy that played with you at the Redskins that's on ESPN? Your favorite? Oh uh Trevor Maddich? Yeah. Yeah, he's the guy that talks like this. You know, you don't think there's any um, surgery done in that room right now, do you? No, no, no. Actually, any work in that room? Is that that his wife? Jerry Jones and his, uh, his wife, girlfriend, and somebody else. I'm sure, between them, no, there's open. Oh, she just room. broke social distance. Yeah, Man, I'm sure they're. Wow. These girls are dressed up, huh? All right, boys. I'm going to sign off. All right. Enjoy. Yeah, one, two, three, six. Thanks for having me. Yeah. Yeah, turn it on your walk, Doug. <laughs> Good see you, Jimmy. Yeah, you guys. Thanks. Talk to you tomorrow, James. Yeah, yeah see you then, Stoney. First pick for Mike McCarthy is a Cowboys uh, coach. <laughs> Going to be exciting or boring? This is a phone, Dad. This is what you have to answer. <laughs> is that Lisa Vanderpump? No. It takes, look at tape. Oh, they have a tape. Yeah. We took Troy Aikman again. <laughs> Michael. <laughs> Maybe the Lions will take Mike Williams. We'll get to Marcus Ware. We want Isaiah Simmons.
Uh, Mr. Jones, he was taken earlier in the draft. What? I expect to see fish swimming past in one of those windows behind him. <laughs> Looks like Okuda's meeting with the media now, so I'll let you know if anything comes in from him. Right. So the over-under on SEC players was 15 and a half. By my count, we've got nine so far. Is that right? I do. I'll trust you. You think we get to you think we get to 16? I have a feeling you're going to get to 10 right now. Well, not yet. No. Wow. So they just gave Dak a huge weapon. Did they re-sign Cooper? Yeah. Yeah. They get monster money, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay. It's a Darian. I like that name. I love his hometown where he's born. Richmond? Yeah. So now this is interesting because you get the second pick for the Miami Dolphins. And, of course, we all dreamed about what would happen if the Lions were to get all three of Miami's first-round picks. And they got all none of Miami's first-round picks. So Miami has two at Tungabayaloa. Now here they're at 18. They could, there's still offensive linemen available, right? They could take Ruiz. They could take Kenneth Murray. Who would you say? Murray, linebacker. No, I'm talking offensive linemen. They should oh. take an offensive lineman here. So who's still available? Um, Ezra Cleveland's still available. Austin Jackson's still available. Ethan Ruiz. If the top four have been taken. Um, yeah, maybe it's too early to take uh, one of those guys. Would they take a safety? McKinney's available. You can take McKinney, yep. Yeah. Or do they want to give a weapon? Do they, do they take uh, a receiver here, take Jefferson or something? Who well, we haven't had? We haven't had a shocker yet. There have been no major surprises, have there? No. No, just maybe just the order in regards to Henry Ruggs going ahead of Jerry Judy. I was a little surprised by that. But there's no Daniel Jones. No. No, like, fall out of your chair. Mitchell Trubisky. Yeah. No. Jeff Lagerman. Yeah, exactly. I think it's I think it's class you're classing it up there with some Pizza Hut and the uh, cocktail outfit. Yeah. Yeah, the one dude missed the memo, huh? John, hey, John, what was your draft day setup? My draft day setup? Yeah. Uh, I've got my I got the TV here. I've got another one going over here. When you, when you were drafted. Oh, when I was drafted, oh, I just had all the family over, um, and it, it wasn't anything big. Trust me, it was just waiting for the phone to ring, watching uh, John Tate, Matt Stinchcomb, Luke Pedigal, L.J. Shelton, Aaron Gibson, Chris Terry, all go ahead of me. L.J. Shelton was the kid from Eastern, right? Yeah, yeah. It yeah. was Lonnie Shelton, the basketball player's kid. Was that right? Yes. Yeah. Did you get pissed? Was I? Does it? Do I sound pissed? You sound pissed still. Hey, yeah, well, when I asked you on the radio, could you do the, do the Brady thing and name them off? You struggled a little bit. I did. I John did. Tate. It was six. What six thirty-five in the morning? I, I think the John Tate. And the one, the one I can't believe I didn't get. I was, I was, I still was. Uh, 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 this has been a long week, and uh, the the Aaron Gibson one that'll always bother me. Especially because Mo was uh, was on the Lions staff at that time. Right. Oh, it just so happens our special guest Aaron Gibson's here. <laughs> I used to do a Lions show, and we started that season with Crowell, and he bagged out. So we had Aaron Gibson. He was hurt, and I, so he was my he was every week. And half the time he didn't show up. We were at a ball. We were at Snookers in Utica. Okay. So he was there. Was he any good? What'd you say? When he was there. Was he any good? No. So with Crowell, was that Crowell's rookie year or was Crowell his second year when he started things started to go a little bit to his head? That. Yeah. He was a really humble kid his rookie season. He was a heck of a player. And then things changed a little bit for him. Yeah. It's like, okay, we're not going to take Randy Moss because, you know, we don't need a receiver. We'll take Terry Fair. And then they take Crowell in the next round. John, the Lions picked the Cuda. Yeah. And five minutes later, I was looking up 2021 mock drafts. 
And what's it say? Uh, they get Justin Fields with the pick at three. Uh, the, the, uh, the, there's there's a whole bunch of rabbit holes we could go down there. Well, yeah. just pick your winners. Yeah, I, I, I have no problem with them taking a good quarterback. That's not it. But if we don't play college football until January, does Justin Fields even see the field? Yeah, will they even play? Yeah, I mean, no. It's it, I think I think the only guy of that group that would play would be Trevor Lawrence. You think he'd play? Yeah. Why do you think he'd play? Because he loves his team. He just likes to play the game of football. It's the same reason Derek Brown went back this year to play at, at Auburn. Yeah. Just because there's some guys that just have a respect for the game and their teammates, and they love to play the game of football no matter what time of year, no matter when they're playing. They just want to hit somebody. <laughs> You sound like Spindler. <laughs> you know Spindler? Uh, yeah, I've, I've, I've only met him via phone. Really? So, yeah, I've never met him in person. We've all, I've, I've had him on a couple of shows, um, and so it's always been on the radio. I've never I've ever actually had him met him in person. <laughs> you guys said something nice about Michigan with their recruiting effort with him, with his kid? Who, Spindler? Yeah. They sent this amazing graphic of like him getting drafted along with his dad. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. it was pretty cool. Notre Dame tried to find or something like that today. And, you know, Michigan Nelson. State did too, and they used Lions uniforms. I'm like, that's not going to sell anybody. Unless you're a receiver. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so here's the thing. So the Lions sent out, or no, Michigan State sent out all of their players that are in the NFL. Can anybody on this name which Michigan State player is on the Lions? Because I was confused. Currently. Um, on the Lions? Charlie a practice squad guy. Drew Stanton back? No, still in Arizona, I think, right? I think he's in Cleveland, isn't he? Oh, Cleveland. that's right. Um, Matt Sokol is a Detroit Lion. Really? Uh, I learned that today because of a graphic. I had no idea because I'm. He's trying that. to take. Uh, he's trying to take Doug's pick, take his position, the hawk. Oh yeah, yeah. I was on the Lions live stream today. You look good. I'm curious what the Dolphins are going to do here. I don't know why I'm so infatuated with the Dolphins. I think it's because they have the three first round picks, and they you took think all the Redskins and draft another quarterback. No, they won't because Ed Snyder's the one making the pick, and he already picked Dwayne Haskins last year. Okay, you're infatuated because they have the real, they have the good Patriots defensive coordinators, their head coach. Well, uh, and I don't think he was technically ever a defensive coordinator with the Patriots, was he? Yes, no. last year when Patricia's first year here. Was he or was he just I don't think he was named the defensive coordinator. I don't think he was ever named the defensive coordinator. He was like assistant head coach of defense. <laughs> oh, oh, the Dolphins make a trade now to make a trade? Oh, it's their No, that's the Patrick. Oh, that's what they got to get this. I got you. Sorry. Are we going to get through the whole first round with no trades? We have one already. Yeah. Tampa and San Fran, 13 and Yeah, they flipped the trades. Brian Flores doesn't look too happy, does he? Oh, well, he doesn't. He is happy. Out of the room. Chris Greider's got that bad connection. Well, who's the pick? Got me a lineman or a receiver? He knows they can't see him, right? Gigs. Whoa. Yep. Austin Jackson, center field, Detroit Tigers. Why are you guys in this Where is this kid at? USC. What's that weird curtain? Oh, there must be a window, huh? Oh, I just scouted him yesterday. Is that a lot? Yeah, he weighed 20 pounds at 10, 10 weeks old. He's Really? Yeah, I'm watching ABC now. You can eat a 40 piece chicken McNuggets by the age four. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Autumn. This is a great story. This is the part of the drive. I love hearing the great stories of guys. 
Oh, is this the one where he gave his bone marrow to his sister? Yeah. So which one else is his sister? Uh, the one next? Uh, the yellow? Yeah. The Raiders are next. Who well, the Raiders taking the? Uh, they took Henry Ruggs, right? Right. Yep. Now they can take Jordan Love. <laughs> Play on Chaser. Um, yeah, I'm surprised the Cowboys didn't take him. Kenneth Murray. Murray is a Bla that is a Raider pick, isn't it? Yes. And it seems like a safe pick. Get a safety, no pun intended, but. Who's the Nick best Ray player available right now? J.K. Dobbins. According to ESPN.com. Uh, Chase on the best player. Will, you, will we see a running back in the first round? I, I have no running do. backs going in my mock. Stoney didn't have a running back going in his mock, so that means all three are going in, the, in, in this draft. Right. <laughs> Jeff Okuda says he did not know that the Lions were going to draft him. Do you guys believe him? No. Neither do I. Well, you hang on. You know what? I agree with that because I don't think the Lions needed to talk to him. They are they interviewed him or whatever. They didn't need to talk to him the day of the draft to let him know they were taking him because – why say that if you're trying desperately to trade out of it? Right. Although it doesn't sound like they were all that desperate to trade out of it. I didn't my text from the, from the boss, boys. I want to wrap it up. I got to roll anyway. I got I to gotta, I gotta hit. I got to make. What? I got to go hit somebody, too. <laughs> Yes, I'm on my way over to Evans. <laughs> I suspect a murder. <laughs> no, I got a spot I got to do. So I will see you guys later. Hey, thanks for having me. Appreciate it. Thanks for dropping in. Go. Hey, John. Good see you, man. John. Take Home care. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like I said, stay in quarantine, pal. <laughs> All right, fellas. So I think that's it. Do you have any last uh, thoughts on Okuda and what the Lions might do going into round two? Well, what do we want round two? I, I guess I want D-tackle. I want Neville Gallagher to drop the black line. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what I want in the, in the second round at this point. I I mean, I, 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 don't, think Kevin, I don't think Kevin Murray's going to be there. I don't know if Patrick Queen will be there. I like Patrick Queen a lot. I want to run it back. If one of the safeties falls, that wouldn't be bad. But if not, go take Jonathan Taylor or, or J.K. Dobbins. I wouldn't be mad, although that's a, that to me is the kind of luxury, right, bright, shiny thing pick. But um, they, what they need is a starting deep tackle for that. So round two mock drafts will come out at what, like 1230 tonight? Well, usually it take, I'm always surprised at how long they take. Some of them will. But yeah. We'll be out at 10. Stoney will be on soon. Yeah, he's shaking his head, yeah. yeah. Well, thank you, guys. Yep. No, thank you. Uh, yeah, good to see you. Good to see you. Uh, I'll see Mike Monday. But... Oh, that's right. Yeah. Your rotation goes. Yep. I'll see you when I see you guys. David Arnett. Wow. Hey, everybody watch. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks. Listen. Later, guys. This is our latest Michigan uh, student over there. What's up, Brandon? How are you? Good. How are you? Good. Hanging in there, trying to stay up this draft. Uh, happy with the uh, Okuda? Yeah, guys. I was hoping we could get more picks out of it, but it didn't happen, obviously. But, Smart young man. Uh, I, was, I was hoping we could get something with the Dolphins or Panthers. That would have been nice to drop back in there and probably take a kudo for this, like, four picks later. But Well, somebody's going for your job, Doug. Yeah. I don't know. I say go green. Go blue.
All right, guys. Thank you, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye, everybody. Thanks for watching and always listening. Good night.